But no, it's fine. We'll just talk over it. Title screen for a bit because it's a uh, we can do that. Yeah. Well, this is the title screen. If anyone's watching the vod, they're hearing this bit because it's the start of the stream. And it's the title screen. Hello, I am Amble. And this is. And this is not Amble. And together we make Blamble. <laughs> the unofficial unofficial name. Namble. No, because that could be anyone. Well, you could be any. Yeah, you are, and you are someone in the anyone umbrella. Big, big Jim Jams. I like that one. We like big Jim Jams. Um, yeah. The reason, the reason why I'm doing this is to. Wait for the go live notification. <laughs> but I can show my face no, now because oh, I just got the notification on my phone. So yeah, yeah now yeah. I'm on the chatting screen. Look, my latest follower is still IBX Toy Cat. That's exciting. That's when you've made it. You're clouded up now. Yeah, this just says there. That's the official IBX Toy Cat Twitch account <laughs> following me. Check it. Tr check, check it, please, it. please. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, but someone else is going to follow eventually. Don't follow, we need to keep it there for eternity. Yeah, please don't follow, you'll ruin my clout. <laughs> that's like the most anti, that's so backwards. <laughs> please don't follow me, you'll ruin my clout. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. That's not how it that's works. Like... <laughs> <laughs> that's not how clout works. I don't understand this. This makes no sense to me. Trust me. It makes sense. Who do you think will be the first chatter today? Someone's um, gonna be it. And it can't be you. I won't count it if it is you. Just do it. Oh, I see. I, I'm not counting it. <laughs> Nailed it. You haven't even joined. I'm here fighting the army of slimes on it's my It's Dirty own. Dan. Welcome Dirty oh. Dan to the stream. Hope you're doing mm. well. Today we're discussing... Do you know much about philosophy, Dirty Dan? Are you a big brain boy? How big is your brain? Well, actually, you don't need to, to know philosophy. Being big brain can be separate things, but let's, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. <laughs> Could be How you, you uh, well. if you got a big brain or has he got big wisdom? Wisdom. Well, philosophy literally means love of wisdom in Greek. Yeah, it does. Which is an amazing love of wisdom. And who doesn't love wisdom? Fools. Um, the fool. People who want to control you. So if you don't know anything, then you're easier to control. Nah, because what you do is you tell them things that you want them to know. So they're easier yeah, to control. Yeah, but that's not wisdom then, is it? Oh, it's. You have to have wisdom yourself to know what to tell them. P. P. That's some big brain stuff. It's huge. Now, what I'm doing is, is uh, you know, I sit in the chat room for a bit and then I go into Minecraft. It's just like what every... The, this is what the stream structure is. So, okay, Coming we can up, start off with that. So just because everyone else does it, why should you do it? Well, I like doing this because, yeah, I get to talk to okay, if you the audience directly it, for a bit. But if you did it just because other people did it, that would be yeah, a It's a habit that I developed from streaming myself. Because usually it's like, wow, look at all these people to say hi, welcome, hope everyone's doing well, you know, yada yada, what's happening, and then you, then we go into it. What up, squad? <laughs> what's up, homies? I don't want to just cringy catchphrases. What's up? Well. Well, since there's nothing else to say, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go in. Yeah, please help. There's so many slimes. I should uh, organize my screen so I can see my sheet 
for the philosophy. Damn. This man's a scholar. He's got notes and <laughs> shit. Okay. Gaming. I'm currently in Melonland. That is my current location, you see. The time is 8 o'clock on the 20, some 30 something, I don't know what day it is. Uh, and I'm in Melonland. Yep, once again, it appears that I am in Melonland. Yes, cool. Oh, excuse the cars racing in the back. They do that. To go. You know what? Today's a really good day to go racing. What day is it? <laughs> Sunday. Really good day for racing. Yeah, I guess Sunday is a good day. Sunday is it's a good day to race. You know what else is a good day for? What? Mining obsidian. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Mining obsidian, let's go. I don't think we've recorded any of the mining of this hole. But we can capture the last moments this... of actually reaching the bomb. I'm taking in the um just the melon area because well just the farm alone is ridiculous it's getting ridiculous. what do you think that would smell like um it would probably smell like a if there was like redstone had a smell i assume it's warm and yeah because it's active like it's not going to i did not know what that means but okay <laughs> Red, redstone will change the How sense of the room. How can something smell more? I, don't, I think redstone will change the sense of the room. I think all the moving minecarts would as well. I think that the melons being crushed would make it just moist. <laughs> it would be a very moist place. Like, so when you smell it, it's very yeah. thick. It probably, yeah, probably just hit you. Like wild. Really quite wild. Melons. Yeah. Quite uh, ex not exotic, but sharp on your nose. Synapse. Like, if you cut open a melon and you just sniff the melon really hard, it's yeah. kind of like that. It would be insane. <laughs> Hello, Mini Rowan the Witch. Welcome to Minecraft and Philosophy with Plum Plum Jamja. I hope you're doing very well. Just recently achieved burning 300 calories in 40 minutes. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Congratulations. I feel like you're going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's really sad because 300 calories is like three miles past. Yeah, it's like all that exercise is, is free. You can just put it back on again if you eat three miles bars. <laughs> maybe it's more, maybe it's four miles bars. Cheeky. I reckon the miles bar is like 90 calories. I don't know. Yeah, I... There are some things that are in a crazy amount of calories, like KFC, McDonald's, McDonald's. Like that's like insane. Like just like a little fries, like over a thousand. Like, what? How are you putting these fries? Lots of salt and sugar in your fries. Oh yes, I think you need more salt than sugar in these fries. And it tastes better. It tastes better this way. So the the nature of the discussion today revolves around ontology and epistemology. Let's hear it for ontology and epistemology. Let's go. You're gonna have to explain what those are. <laughs> I'm trying to make it uh, not be boring because like when I read and watch stuff online, half it's really boring. It's like oh yeah, philosophy is so boring. Like when people like, like read it, they're not passionate. They just kind of like just say what it is, which is like, like I like function. philosophy. But I understand that it's it can be very dry. So we're gonna try and make it not dry. No. And be, and be excited to read it. That's the, that's your goal. Our goal today is to. Can you make it entertaining? You Why hasn't it succeeded? It. Mini Rowan, Mini Rowan, the gosh darn witch, said, feeling alright. Just popping by to check the stream for a bit before continuing editing radio package what did you think about the this is this is my own personal project which i shared with mini Rowan. 
in the busking on the bus render 4 demo that's unreleased currently in the team what do you think about it mini because i sent it in the two castle chat i'm walking to the castle by the way okay. can you like Exciting. bring a bed i've got a bed yes uh, can you sleep now yeah sleep i'll go find a spot So, on ontology, oh my god, so exciting for ontology. That's just, it's so hype. We're so hyped about ontology and epistemology today. Hype! No, I feel loads of energy. Hype. I think if we wanted to be like really broad, we could have introduced metaphysics oh, and uh, yeah, ethics. Just, just stick with one, like my brain is on, <laughs> on like slow mode right now, so just... Just start with one, explain experience. what it is, and then What is this then house over here? I'm, I'm distracted. I see a house. There's a house over yeah. here. That looks new. Or was it old? I have no idea what you're looking at. You remember, like, those people who were playing and they built their own little, like, world somewhere else for a portal? I still haven't seen that area. It's quite far away. Um, Mini Run the Rich says, on the topic of the unreleased demo video that's not complete, says, this looks like an unfinished house. I need to check it out later. Yeah, it's not It's not like you want to, it's that you need to, correct. <laughs> it's, a requ <laughs> it's a requirement. That's the mentality we that's like a, to see. Yeah, whose house is this? I think I'm not found it. I think this is Joe's house before they moved to the other place you said. Oh yeah, I see the rest of the area they're building up. Yeah, this will probably get eaten by the castle, so no worries. Really? Yeah, I'm this I don't I kinda just continuously move the goalpost to be honest with you with the castle. Wow. Quite a castle. Oh my god, we could add this though. I should see it, I do see it by now, yes. And then um yes, yeah, so we're not doing ethics. Although well, ethics kind of will probably bleed into this, because it always does. Ethics always bleeds into this, into life. Right, wrong, neutral, anti-neutral. Neutral. Yeah. This is neutral ethics. I don't know, but like, there's there's clearly like there's two sides here. Like, why not be a middle? You I got a big brain. Like, if you're neutral, then you're actually just being complicit, so you're not actually being neutral. Because by not doing anything, you're allowing for whatever's happening to continue. Yeah, but that's to suggest that um, by not acting, am I responsible for the actions taking unfolding in Sri Lanka? Yeah, that's quite abstract. But let's say, like, you just watch, like, say you watch someone drop some money, and then you just stood there and did nothing and just stared at the money. Like, is that being neutral or like? And also, that comes but also at the same time, there's uh, I could listen to the radio, and there's audio of someone dropping money uh, <laughs> in Sri Lanka. I did nothing. You're gonna uh, need some wings for this place, I'm afraid. Okay. Maybe a maybe a building builder's cap or whatever it's called. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I have no idea. I'm just good at the game. Cat. <laughs> Would you accept free meals from Rowan? Spin Would the hat. Would you accept free her meals in exchange of spin of the hat wheel? Well, that's good. I think I get free homemade meals anyway. You just skimaz him. Just do it. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. <laughs> Is the wheel even available to be spun? I can't. I don't know. You're the one with the wheel. I don't. How would I know that? Well, I know the wheel's here, but I've not, like, I've, I've, I've intentionally, like, avoided doing it because the hat's really uncomfortable <laughs> to wear. You have the content. Yeah, do you have a water bucket? You're, you're really going to need it. I, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. yeah. That's, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair. I do have water <laughs> Just buckets. as I say that. <laughs> 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 to the yeah, okay. <laughs> 
you know, almost lost everything. Yeah, I would everything. highly yeah. recommend the bucket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the bro. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair. Oh, I know, I've ruined the layer. What a shame. Yeah, I really have no strategy for this. I think the strategy um, we need is just to follow this. Do I have to pick up the obsidian or can I just, you yeah. know? It'd be Whatever. nice. <laughs> okay. Like, if we're going to spend all the time mining it, we might as well collect it. Oh. What is wrong with you? It's fine. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> right now. I've just seen you jump into lava twice. You know, it's cool. I'll just put my elytra away. You know, for the time being. Just, just like... Okay, that, you, you do the... You, I'll, I'll deal with the hard bit over here. I'll show no, you the No, it's easy. fine, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll get a handle on this. Just put the water down as you're mining and let the water like flow onto the lava, please. <laughs> so you don't just keep, you know, taking a hot bath or whatever. <laughs> it's cool, you know. You know, I almost died twice. It's fine. Heart and a half, I was fine. Yeah, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times. F the peace sign. I'm, I'm just I'm just gamer. Yeah, I'm quite impressed you didn't die, to be honest. Yeah, I just I just stay calm and I just like okay, I need to swim out and play Yeah, the same thing happened to me yesterday as well. He's like, I could be panicking, and yes, I have adrenaline, but I'm just gonna be focused on getting out. It's that Minecraft that knowledge you know, you know, fall in lava. As soon as you fall in lava, you're just holding A like but please. It helps that um, like it also work. It also happens in speedrunning. This kind of event. Storm of water. Oh. Shame. Right, I'm just gonna find some more water. Hey, look at this over here. I don't really understand how this how this works. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> it shouldn't work. I can tell you how it works. It shouldn't. <laughs> I know that if we mine this, it'll go back to normal. So, I've, so we should just kind of leave. It. Yeah, <laughs> should leave it for now. Don't want to update it. The magic lava post. <laughs> Hello, zombie. Oh, yeah. Water. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna do toggle crouch. He weren't using that before. Nah, I like um. Oh wait, you're on a mouse and keyboard, yeah. You don't want toggle crouch on mouse and keyboard. So yeah, on philosophy, am I right? This is oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what this is. What we're doing here. Hang on, do my control. Yeah. That's the gimmick of. Wait, no. So I haven't explained what that word means. What philosophy? No, like on what is it? Ontology. Yeah. Oh yeah, so ontology means uh, onto means existence. And then ology is um, logica and being real. Sorry, logic is science. Ology is science. Uh, onto is existence or being. Onto. So is it just the science of being? Exactly. Okay. That was that's English. <laughs> and then epistemology is the science of knowing. But like empiricism. The empiricism is a branch of epistemology. Um, and another branch. Well, these are theories of knowledge. So how do you know? So. Fuck. Oh, sorry. I, I thought I was on fire. <laughs> I was like, how am I on fire? I'm standing still. Uh, don't worry. I I'm used to this. Uh, I'm used to this by now. I, I, I don't. It's fine. I was worried because I was actually going to die because I was in my menu. I had to get out. I was like, I haven't got yeah. enough time to survive. Honestly, know. honestly, the fire is nothing compared to the slimes, so. <laughs> like, I have chainmail armor. I have to be quick. Gotta keep the keep <laughs> no, on the edge. Yeah, this is, this is a good place to use this stuff because this place is pretty dangerous. Where is Toggle Crowd? In the, in the menu. It's not under controller. Is it in keyboard mouse? It's in, it's in the menu. Can you not see it? Jeez. Oh, 
I didn't even, I didn't even see it. Thank you, Minirin. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to- Place your bets, will Amble die in lava, or will he make it through the stream, not burn to death? <laughs> we'll see. Why can't we do the classic strat of, like, being in the block, like this? And just kind of glide along. Oh, you can if you want. That's way safer. It's just that I've been doing this for a while, so I'm kind of mixing it up a bit. Well, we don't need to go that far yet, that's the boundary. We kind of need to get to, like... We don't want to mine more obsidian. This is the two. safest way to mine obsidian and get the blocks. That's a Minecraft fact. <laughs> Yeah. Don't let them anyone stay lying. This is this is, we're learning here. This is this is this is basic stuff, like Whee! Is it a boundary? So oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause we don't need to we don't need to mine extra obsidian. The water didn't reach that far. Oh, it's getting night time. Quick, go to bed. Quick, go to bed. Oh, because does it like spawn tons of mobs? Okay, so because we're, we're really focused on philosophy, um, I thought it'd be really fun to focus on uh, brain in a vat. Okay. Can you explain what that is? So the brain in a vat, uh, for a bit of historical context, was proposed by, I think, Kant. I think it's Kant, but it was in the form of demons. Like, what if demons isn't, could like control isn't the brain you? in the vat? Pretty much the same thing as like a simulation. Yeah, it is. But this is the origins of, of the of the theory. And he yeah, thought, yeah. I think like, I think I got this. One. I got this one. So basically, isn't it just the idea that? You could be a brain in a vat with all the stimuli being pumped into your brain and you wouldn't know because you're a brain in a vat and all the senses seem real. And how would you know if you are a brain in a vat or you are actually a real person experiencing these things? Yeah. And you can see how that's a simulation theory because like what if you're just in a simulation? How would you know if you are or not? Yeah, like I I feel I feel something is because or I see something is because it's been put there. And I feel that it's there because I've been told in this sophisticated simulation that it's there. And how do I know what the difference between a simulation and not a simulation is? Uh, so how well, how would you uh, approach this problem, Blob? Like, well, like, are we or aren't we in a simulation? Well, like the first thing I think is like, so you know when you meet people, and then you like, there's like a vibe. Like, you are kind of, like, sensing how they feel, and there's, like, a feedback between you and someone. Like, when you have a conversation in real life, and you talk to people, you kind of, you don't think about it, but you naturally, like, have a conversation, you talk, and then the other person talks, and then someone else talks, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how, how would, how would that, how would that work in a simulation, if they weren't real people? Like, would they have to be really complex? Would they have to be really complex, like, um simulations of people and then if it was that complex would it not just be a person like what's the difference between a, a simulated person and a person if it was that good i don't know that's what my brain went with that so you're saying what's the point of it of there being a difference yeah like like does it matter like if you knew it was true like if you knew you're in a simulation it doesn't matter because you're still in a simulation anyway yeah and that's a great point. Um, we could be, but the fact if we are or aren't doesn't change what's happening. And so therefore I can just not have to think about it because it doesn't change anything about my world. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's what I said. And uh, you're right. Uh, <laughs> and you, we could just leave that's it like that. That's not <laughs> yeah, you're right, man. GG. We could. We could. We could. Yeah, fair. Like, this doesn't change my anything. I could just continue living. And I think that, I think that's a very stoic way of looking at it. Uh, though, 
unfortunately, like, we, we don't have to think about anything because... Well, actually, you brushed upon a theory proposed by... Let's scroll down here. What's his name again? <laughs> this man has notes. I don't know who Maureen. said this stuff. I <laughs> so Maureen like... is a is a twentieth century twentieth century philosopher who were who dealt with skepticism skepticism because uh, this kind of this with also relates to ske skeptics because a skeptic okay. is someone who just what do you want to do on this one? No, nah, carry on. I was making a meet. So a skeptic is someone who well, there's two different types. There's two branches of skepticism. <laughs> Uh, there's academic skepticism, and the skeptics who are skeptic of the skeptic. There's a there's a there's a, there's a, academic skeptics that go like, oh, how do I know that this is a table? What? How can I measure this table? Like, how is it there? And then there's the uh, the Pythian skeptic, which is it it's, it it goes a step further than the academic skeptic because it doesn't question what the external world is. It goes like uh, transcends and in questions like, can you even know anything? Yeah, like the brain in the vat. Not like the brain in the vat. Like just literally, like any like anything like these words, the fabric of reality. Like, can you literally know anything? Because if you ask, if you foundation? were to drop your, if you were to drop something in your room right now, what what would happen? It would be. It drop in what happened? If you just fall. if you just held something up and you dropped it, what would happen? It'd fall. Yeah, how do you know that? Uh, empiricism. If you haven't if you haven't done it, how do you know that? If I never. And then you're gonna go fall. do it. And yeah, yeah. How do you know? Well, how do you know that? that it's gonna. How do you know it's not just gonna float away? It's it's empirical, so it's uh, based on what's happened before, I assume. Yeah, so you can know stuff because you said you predicted what was gonna happen, and then if you drop something right now, that's what happens. Yeah, so you can. I, I can know that. But you knew that it was gonna drop. Yeah. And then the uh, so the skeptic could be like, okay, let's return back. But like, how do you know? How do you know though, if uh, when you dropped it, it was not in fact within a simulation? <laughs> and it, it doesn't matter. And you didn't drop it. <laughs> it was simulatedly seemed like it was dropped. And what yeah, you can just add like as many infinite fucking abstractions as you want. What is what like, is just... what is dropping? What even is dropping? Yeah, is that you just keep you be an esoteric as you want, like. Yeah. Um Yeah, so there's two different types of skeptic. Uh the one which says I sense it's unreliable. How do I not know that the simulation is just a simulation within a simulation within a simulation within a simulation within yeah, a simulation yeah. within anyway, a simulation? Anyway, uh he it's this guy why, why, this guy de dealt with, with the skeptical question which is um you can't know anything and who knows. And Yeah. I'm pretty sure who was the dude that said I think therefore I am? That was ah, his answer. Well that's Kant, that's Kant. Yeah, that was that was the answer. De Rene Descartes. And he he <laughs> He just removed everything that was unreliable and was left at one thought, which was that he knew he was thinking. Like the active yeah. thought was yeah. the last thing. And from that foundation, he sought to branch out more things that you can absolutely know. Like absolute truths. Yeah, so you absolutely, you are thinking. Congratulations. We did it. This we've defeated the skeptic. <laughs> we did it, boys. <laughs> we thinking. <laughs> uh, so later on, um, we have the uh, yeah. You touched upon like common sense. Like, oh, when I talk to someone, like I know I am talking to someone. Like it's, it's like that. It's like, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it's my simulation because uh, it doesn't matter because I'm still talking to them, and it seems pretty real to yeah, me. Right. I would literally just counter with the opposite. Like, if you if you saying, "Oh, how do you know it's real?" I'd be like, "How do you know that it's not real?" Exactly. Uh, and if and you have, if you don't know if you don't know why it's not real, then why are you even asking why it's real in the so first place? So this is like um, the the common sense theory. It kind of pits two realities: the reality which it is real, the skeptic is right, or the reality or the reality where this, the common sense argument is right, and neither can prove either side. Except the the common sense reality 
is far more uh it's like less complex it's just this is what it is that's it and it's much easier to understand and it just also... goes back to empiricism yeah it's, it's like just... i can i can make a model of reality and then i can use this model to predict reality and so forth like and it, and it continues and if it every single time it's right and then if it's wrong i can change it and then it's right again and if like reality wasn't real or consistent or didn't have truths then if i made a model i shouldn't be able to make a model that predicts reality yeah i, I remember listening to an alan watts lecture and he said uh scientists uh figured out that in order to make predictions uh they could remove god out of their hypothesis and they can still be accurate and so if you can remove god out of your hypothesis therefore you do not need god to predict what's going to happen and therefore yeah, yeah, well, god is not necessary OG, to understand the I world where the og is to all religious and the whole point was like they were trying to discover god's creation right and then yeah. they like just measured yeah. shit kant was very uh religious which i think I, I think therefore i am he was very religious so he actually oh, came up oh, with God. one of the theological arguments about uh, proving God with the um, if I can think about an infinite being, therefore the only way I could think of such a, a high idea, a high order idea, he would say the highest, is if there was something that was that thing. Interesting. Uh, although the, the modern day rebuttal is like yeah well, well I could think how of do i know idea. that your high order idea is this high order idea it doesn't mean anything well, no... I, could do... I could just make up my own form of a higher power and then be like because this exists then yeah. it's a it's because cyclical it exists. it's a very cyclical argument so it doesn't yeah. really doesn't work at all in my in my view it's basically like making a game and then defining the rules and then being like, because I define made the rules, the rules are the truth of reality. Because I made them that nice. way. Mini, mini right right might go back to editing, have a lovely stream. Uh, might try point back later. No worries. <laughs> Enjoy editing. Yeah, this is um, I recommend a book called if if you if you if you're interested on uh, breaking down the historic every single major argument that proves religion throughout history uh, and, and break it down with logic uh, until you don't know anything about anything. I <laughs> until it becomes so esoteric <laughs> you question the meaning of life. Yeah, you start, you start going, okay, so like no one knows. You, I recommend no one knows the answer to the ultimate question book. Yeah, but the thing is, right? <laughs> it's a good one. Like, good. yeah, but the thing is, like, if you if you made a question up, like, just because you make a question, right, doesn't mean that there is an answer, because you're assuming that the question is questioning. Yeah, Kant, Kant was definitely like um, mistaken here. I think it, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, but this is just like kind of expanding from what he was thinking. It's just interesting, uh, interesting theory, but um, flawed, but interesting. Cute. I don't, I don't think, yeah, I think Cam was just really, the. I think that 4 am was probably, it was like the best thing, one of the best things he did, I'd say. Because that's a really solid argument. Yeah, it's so simple. It's so simple. And that's what the, uh, the modern day, is the common sense theory. We've covered, so we've defeated skepticism. Well, hey. Uh, and so we go back. <laughs> uh, and not be a skeptic. Although skepticism is useful. Uh, because, you yeah. know, how do you know? It's a great question. It's good to question the nature of your reality and the nature of things that you've been told or believe. Exactly. Because although if you don't question yourself, like, you're just basically being arrogant, so. Yeah. Or ignorant. One of the two. I can't remember which one's which. You tell I'm, I'm so smart. <laughs> yeah, so if um, that was it. So what's uh, one thing to add to this? So the guy who came up with like the difference between like the common sense argument of reasoning, his line of logic was because um, you talked about conversations like I, I go to a conversation and it just that's just real. So he took it to well, I look at my hand and I know my there's a hand there and therefore I'm not in a simulation. No, I don't. I don't really get that one. <laughs> so, 
So he said that um, because he could look and know there's a hand there, it proved the existence of like external How? objects being like real and tan like How tangible. How does he know that his hand is real? It's because he's it's innate. You see, he'd argue it's innate. You just look at it and go, yeah, that's my hand. <laughs> so he's saying, yeah, but that's basically the, the, the argument I give against that is that's basically saying that the senses are true and that they don't can't be uh, wrong and that they're innately true. That's the assumption. The assumption is your senses yeah, he, are So he would true. say, um, stop being so ridiculous. Like, that is my hand. If you don't agree with that, no, then, I'd, you're, I would, then you're then crazy. I would, I would argue against this dead philosopher and say, well, what about when you see a mirage in the, in the sand, you see water. There's not actually water there, but in his argument, if I see the water, the water exists. But then you go over to there and it's a mirage. It doesn't exist. No, so you can be say, fooled by the say, senses. Because he would say that isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's by his own argument, that's how it works. He saw it, therefore it's real. Because it's, so it's not like he saw his mirage. hand, it's like he, he literally like knows his hand is there. How? But how do you know your hand's there? That's that's why he, he's saying it's just... I'm, it's not, just the, I'm not the one arguing this. His he's argument, the one his argument he is, he's arguing like innate knowledge, basically. Like sense, sensory, like yeah, more that's than... Going, it's yeah, more and that's going to be something that his senses can interpret innate truths or whatever. How does he get over that? He gets over it by going, uh, you're just crazy if you disagree that I have hands. Yeah, so that's I don't shit have hands. then. Shit argument. He hasn't rebuttaled it at all. <laughs> yeah, he's probably just... dead. I know you spend your whole life on that, but that's a shit argument. <laughs> he just go, nah, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, nah, like, it's just real. Like, it's just true. It's the same as, like, a religious person who's like, oh, I, I know that God's real, therefore he's real. It doesn't matter. I don't need to prove anything. Like, you're you're trying good. to disagree that, you know, if you were to look at your hands, you're saying that? Yeah. Are you sure that your hands? Exactly. Like I know it's because I know that you can pull your senses. So to say that your senses are like, like, you are reliable, I think so, is a pretty weak argument. But the whole point of empiricism is because the way you interpret the world isn't necessarily true. But if you interpret the world through measuring it, you can get a di like a different perspective and an empirical perspective on it and such. And it's just a different one. And it's like, what's more accurate, the empirical one, or the one you sense, or some weird abstractions, or the Bible? Like, how do you know which one's more real, which, which one's more true, which one's not true? Like, and how? So I'm confused. When you get back to your, you, when you try to prove, like, it doesn't, you say it doesn't matter that we are or not in simulation. I have a conversation. It's a conversation. Whatever. Oh, that was just a no. The conversation was definitely make do. So I was just saying, like trying to relate it to personal experience where like when you speak to people you have this feeling that they're also another conscious being and that's basically the same argument as him is saying like the hand it is, is just yeah, that's why i brought it up yeah yeah but i wouldn't use that to then go oh therefore like it is real like i'm just saying that that's a perspective yeah his line of logic was... whereas he's saying like because the hand the hand is real like that's the truth hands are external objects uh I know I have hands, <laughs> therefore, I'm not in simulation. Yeah, but it's like, how does he know he has hands? Like, if not, you're being ridiculous. I just know I have hands. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's what he felt. I just think it's so. I do. It makes me laugh. <laughs> you did. It's just like I just know I have hands. <laughs> yeah, that's just not how it works. Yeah, but I think we all would agree there. Like, we all agree we have hands. <laughs> I mean, just you know could, have yeah, them. like yeah, you could agree with hands, but like, like I basically, I, hands. I feel like when you get hands. Into, it's just all a, a definition game. Like it's just all like, what is? How do you define reality? How do you define? Well, he's truth? he's basically going on like expanding on the, I uh, yeah, don't be ridiculous. Like who cares if we're in simulation or not? I know I have hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's basically the way he's taking it. I feel like that's like a like a pragmatist's answer to it. It's like, practically, it doesn't help me to be like, oh, this could be a simulation. Therefore, because it's not practical or has a use, I just can throw it out. Yeah, I have hands. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, but there's another guy. There's another man who questioned and tried to prove we're not in brain and vats. His alternative method. Oh no, he was he was he was the same as you. Yeah, he was also with the common sense, pretty much similar to the other one. It's fine. We're done. We're done. We're done.
brain and vat was done. Um, happy days. So this is one thing um, I thought was cool that I was reminded when doing this research was like, what is knowledge? So here's the hypothetical. I am in, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna make it me. Dave is in a room and he cannot hear nor see or know what's happening in the outside world. Dave says it is raining um, and it, it is raining. Did he know it was raining? Does he have windows? No, he has no way. He doesn't know. He doesn't, doesn't know. He can't so see. He's like in a here. sealed box. Basically. Yeah, he's in a sealed box and he says, oh, and I know it's raining. And no transfer of anything going in no, no. or out. Yeah. So any information. No. And he just goes, okay. I know it's raining. And it is raining. Did he no, know it's it raining? Well, he knew it was raining, but how he knew it was raining, I'd say was just a guess. <laughs> like he just caught that. Yeah, but if it was a guess, then was it knowledge? No. Because he didn't have any way of actually knowing. So he was correct. In yeah, saying but he's raining. correct in terms of like, if we abstract out, right? If we abstract out of the hypothetical, we know as the observer that he's in a sealed box. He's then made a guess that it's raining and it is raining. So we know that he's right. He doesn't know that he's right. See what I mean? Well, he thinks he's right. So? Just oh. if you think you're right, doesn't mean you're right. Yeah. Um, and so basically this argument is formed to like try and give structure to what knowledge is. So it's like they, they try to break it down to like a combination of things. So it's like knowledge is truth, belief and confidence. Like if you're not confident in it, then is it knowledge? If it's if you don't believe it, is it knowledge? And if it's not true, is it knowledge? Yeah, I'd say that's that's pretty good. Sounds okay. reasonable. So, in the in the rain situation, uh, it wasn't true. Uh, well, it actually was true. It was. <laughs> that's what it I was, was saying. I was like, we as the observer know it's true because we've made the hypothetical, and in the hypothetical, that is the. We know that that's okay. the case. Uh, that as the here's case. another variation. We know it's true, but he a, doesn't know. There's a guy. So he doesn't have knowledge. He looks, he looks at a clock, uh, but the clock ha is is frozen. It's incorrect. Except yeah. when he looks at it in okay, this instance, it is correct. Uh, yeah, and crazy. so he looks away from the clock. Does he know what time it is? Wait, 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 say it again. So he, like, the, the time is correct at the instance that he looks at the clock. Yeah. Yeah, see, Does like... Does know what time it is? Like, with this, right, the, I think the whole point is that, like, you basically make it the hypothetical so that they are correct in that hypothetical, but they're not correct in a traditional sense. They're correct as in, like, objectively, at that second, it was that time, and he looked at the clock, and he believed it was that time. So, from an outside point, it looks right. But then at all time, that's, that could happen at any other time of day. The rest of the whole 23 whatever hours, he's not right. Like, so, if he's wrong like 90% of the time and right 10% of the time, then he's not accurate. Like, it's not useful. So, like, if you had a baseball player who, like, so did he know the missed time? Ball, did like, he know the time? every time except, like, one in a hundred, but that one in a hundred is, like, a home run. But could you, you say... Wouldn't have that so, would team. you say he knew the time? He knew the time. Did he know the time? He knew that time for that instance that you created where the time was that time. Yeah. So, you say he did know the time. Yeah, but it's not that simple. Like you're trying to, it's like a trick. <laughs> you're tra I'm trying to trick you. I'm trying to trick you. He was right for a second. <laughs> and then as soon as that ended, he wasn't right. Because that's the way the hypothetical was made. Like that's you not... made it so that he was right for that instance. And then asked, like, was he right in that instance? And it's like, no shit. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, can you kill the slime, please? Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this has been the problem. Correct. It's cool. 
They just sneak up on you and push you into the lava. <laughs> Damn buggers. Damn buggers. I've collected this so much slime from this place. <laughs> yes, yeah, slime party! Yeah! They're pretty good, so, right? You just need to push a bit. So, so the issue of this was like, well, how could it be, how can we call it knowledge? Because it was true, he was confident, and he believed it to be true. Like, how is that knowledge when all the rest of the time it's Because it's not wrong. Because it's not always right. Like, he, he, he isn't right the rest of the time. He's only oh, right. Oh, no, I think, I think to expand from that, he would make the assumption that the clock is correct. Yeah, but he'd make the assumption that the clock's correct at all times, because he has no other way of knowing when the time is right so he assumes that it's right all the time and then by chance when the time t is that time you're like oh look he's right he has knowledge it's like no he doesn't you just you just wait until the instance where i was right <laughs> we didn't wait he just happened to be and he didn't know and he didn't know he doesn't have predictability he doesn't have anything you can't do it again you can't be like oh at any random moment roll a dice pick a random moment in the day and go well what's the time what are the chances that he gets it right one in what is it? Two and we'll say it's the hour, just the hour he gets right, right? So it's two times out of 24 hours in a day. Two times out of 24 hours and two hours out of 24 hours in a day he gets the hour, right? But if you randomly, randomly said, oh, okay, randomly at seven o'clock, what time is it? And the clock always says eight o'clock. He goes, oh, it's seven o'clock. He's wrong. Then you go roll the dice again. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Now you say, oh, what's the time? And he goes, oh, it's 10 o'clock. And you keep rolling this dice and then, oh, look, this one instance where it is seven o'clock and he says it's seven o'clock. Is he right? It's like, no. Yeah, he's right in that instance, but he's not got knowledge, like, overall. Like, he's just lucky. It's just coincidence. It's just rolling dice. Whereas, like, someone who had the knowledge of the time, didn't matter what you did, like, any, roll the dice, whatever time of day, they'll give you the right time. Yeah, so, they actually have the uh, so you highlighted, like, a great point. Like, you said like, earlier, like, oh, this is a trick. Because it, it, to Dave, in Dave's perspective, he... It's the truth, it's belief, and it's confidence. So therefore, this frame of knowledge, which is called the justified true belief, uh, has to be altered. Has to have something else to it. And you're, talk you're talking about this else that has to be added in order to be. So you're talking about consistency. Uh, and so my favorite of the ones I did my research on was the un, the unsolved. What's it called? The hidden, not the hidden truths. Ah. Oh. Man, they they frame it like there are like these hidden truths that you didn't know until the moment which you did know. Until uh -huh. like little, little nuggets, Un uh, unsolved defeaters, weird. unsolved defeaters. I think the phrase was. And so like okay. he had there was an unsolved def unsolved defeater of which he didn't know the clock was broken. But in the moment he he did know the clock was broken. Uh. We know it wasn't knowledge because he didn't know that the clock was broken. Uh, but when he knows that, then it's then it's knowledge. It's like, oh yes, it's it was broken. Yeah. So it revealed itself. And the idea of like the unsolved defeater is there is potentially like many to a situation. Can you just and can you define one and um, whatever that word was? It was there is knowledge that did not present itself in the moment that was hidden from the person. What does it mean in the moment? Is so it, is like, it, I'm trying to reframe this so it makes sense to me. So is it like saying like... So in the clock the, instance, he didn't you know it have, broken. We'll say, yeah, but we'll say you have knowledge and there is knowledge that you don't have. And yeah. in a moment where that knowledge that you don't have would have helped you, you don't have it. And that's the whatever that word is. Yeah, the unsolved defeater. Okay, I get it now. I don't, I don't really, I don't really see the value in that because that's just like saying, oh, there's stuff you don't know. It's like, yeah, no shit. Well, it's the theory it's of knowledge. Like, like, this is like, yeah, it's like we, this is f trying to define what knowing is. Yeah, but truth. it's like knowing truth. It's like the opposite would be the assumption that you know everything, and then you could just test that by just simply going, well, can you do this? Can you do this? What's this? And just ask questions because if you know everything, you should get it right 100% of the time. And yeah. you don't, so you could say that it's, pro it's probably not that, and it's probably the opposite. So. Well, as soon as you get one thing incorrect, it's like, well, there you go. <laughs> Didn't know everything. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> See the speed on the bucket. Is that a 
satisfying, isolated. Yeah, I think I think this is the line here for the. Uh... Yeah, seems about right. <laughs> nice. Good enough. I can't even make it to bedrock. Huh? I can't even make it to bedrock. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is. This is a bit of time. It's been a time. I mean, ah. I don't think I will need Deep Slate for quite a long time. Uh, I'll be real. Or Obsidian. Or Obsidian. So, that's a positive. Uh, a lot of stone as well. So, it should be good for a while. There you go. Uh, undefeated Defeater. I mean, that's the one. Anyway, you got the, you got the, got the concept. It doesn't really matter. Um, there you go. That was epistemology. Oh, okay. That's like <laughs> the bait. The the um. What's the word? Basic the premise. The, the the short intro. Or yeah, an intro. It's like an intro into epistemology. Just a flirtation with it, I guess. Yeah. There are other like um variations of like the, what is true knowledge. Uh, but I honestly I've forgotten them because they were as good as that one. <laughs> I don't remember them. I listened, I'd, honestly, I'd listened to it like m like all these different theories multiple times in this one period of time. And that's the only one that was like, yeah, that was, that was good. <laughs> the other <laughs> ones I was like, nah, they got, they got holes in them. Not, they got more holes, not as good. Then I like just it. Don't, you just don't see the solid. Yeah. yeah, okay, I'll do the this one just how do you know that how do you know that your judgment on those things was correct? Because I I stuck with the ones that were more consistent with them with logic. As in uh, they set out to do a task and they achieve this task more often than not than the other ones proposed to so that the problem being like how do you know? So you, that's yeah, just an argument of like um, the framework was more effective, basically, and was more reliable. I really think like from science, it's just about um, like predictability. Like if you make a, a so-called truth, for it to be true, it has to be able to work. It has to be able to be usable in reality. Like for example, the gravity one I made earlier. Like because you know about the fear of gravity. You know that if you drop something, something's going to fall. And that comes from like the fact that the model of gravity, the idea of gravity, is consistent. At least on the scale that we live in. It's not going to quantum <laughs> gravity of black holes. I should say on the macros, on, our, on the scale that we live in. It's, it's, it works like pretty much every single place. I think it's, you could say like 99.9%, .9%, I'd guess. You know, there's the occasional exceptions, but then what well, in science is kind of cool because like normally when they find an exception They go like oh shit like is our theory wrong and then half the time all it does is just make the it actually turns out that it proves the theory more Or some shit like that. I don't know science is weird like that It's like oh this is an exception and then some of the exception proves the rule which is pretty cool Is it because they have to make a new rule with the exception but that makes it more solid? Nah, because it's like they find something where they go, uh, oh, this doesn't fit our model. But it turns out there's just variables, that, whatever that word is again you said. There's un there's knowledge that they didn't have. And then when they research it and they look into it more, they're like, oh, now we have this piece of information. It does actually fit into our model. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, an undefeated defeater. It was defeated. Oh, there you go. Yeah. The undefeated. The hidden knowledge. Um, but it, this didn't really like um, go into being because like I realized like when we question existence, I knew the first thing that people would ask is like, well, how do you know you're existing? So I was like, oh, okay, well, we've got to cover brain in a vat. So then so they can go back to existence again. So like, we covered brain in a vat. So now we can talk about existing in this world. <laughs> and we're just going to, uh, you know, if anyone now questions like, but how do you know you're actually in this world? We just go, look at your hands. 
<laughs> are they are their hands there? And they say no. Do we like get out? And they say yes. We're like okay, welcome, welcome to the. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but honestly, a lot of the time, like when it comes to arguments like that, I just like I just use the opposite, and then the, and then the opposite will like prove it. So like. You go, oh, is your hands real? Like, how do you know your hands are real? And then I'd go, well, how do you know your hands aren't real? Like, what makes you question that they aren't real in the first place? Well, if you think you're not living in a, in in a, the world that you're in, because the simulation's like, oh yeah, how do you know you're in the one you're in? It's like, well, if you don't think you really are in the world that you're in, like, what, where are you? <laughs> where, where, where are you, bro? It's like, where the hell you? What the hell are you on about? Because I'm trying to talk about being. So I want yeah, to know where I am, and you're saying you're saying I don't know where I am. So that I don't exist. That yeah, you so don't not, exist. This, is, this is not helpful. <laughs> this is not helpful. So you can just leave. <laughs> just like just get out, bro. Like, unless you, like, unless go, you go, go live in that go live in that world. Unless you have there. proof, which in which we are in a simulation, which is like cool. Yeah, come here. Show me then. But if not, you might as well just not engage because <laughs> you're wrong. Not you're not letting like, you're wrong. You're just not contributing to it's the. Just, to reality that is uh the one no, i was just saying it's just like a pragmatist kind of stance where it's like well you're not providing anything useful or practical that we can actually use so it's kind of like why are you doing this um do you have another shulker for obsidian i uh, just put it back in an empty one behind it probably. yeah yeah sick sick bruv you have to turn that all into ender chests Oh, to pack down obsidian. To make it into other obsidian based items like craft uh, enchanting tables or um, the endermen. Ender yeah, I do want to make uh, like a whole floor of, ender of uh, enchanting tables in the castle. Just in one of the rooms. Just have like enchanting tables as the floor. Oh man. Oof. That, that was, a, video that was, a, that was an exhausting conversation. Yes. Yeah, so now we have to breed, so we have to be like light. We have to not. We have to talk about Minecraft. That's the yeah, whole. That that's was, the whole. Damn. That's that's, how yeah, I think they did teach them for in like Greek times. So they're like, okay, we had we had a hard time. Yeah, now you need to take. You now need to do the rest part. Gotta like let the information that you just heard set in. Mm. Like think about it. So I spent like I spent about like a. Um, I think it was two weeks on it, like on the fundamentals of epistemology. I think. Going back. What did you get? What did you gain? That this like that conversation that I was able to oh, do. Okay. I just knew I knew all that. That was not anything I read today. Oh, you pretty, look at that big brain, man! Look at this man go. He's a scholar now, this. <laughs> but you know, if I ever meet anyone who's also like read in it, it's like. We'll talk about it. It's very, it's very interesting. It's like wow. You just start with stuff like, do you know the the word of piston and they're like, what? I the? have done that, <laughs> and most people say no. <laughs> they go, no, I haven't read into this. Uh, and I'm like, oh. No, it's like this really niche philosophical uh, subject I found. I can't remember what it was. What was it called? I remembered it, but there I forgot. Because it. literally. <laughs> It was like, I, think it's, I don't know, I want to say ontology, but it's not that. But it's like something to do with yeah, like... Ontology is a big branch. That nah, wasn't that then. That's just because we been talking about it and my brain's thinking that. But it was like a word, right? And I'm pretty sure the whole field of it was like, just to do with words. Like, not to do with like, the origins of words or like, the human oh, side. It like linguistics? Like... No, 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 no. It was like, it was like, just the words. And... I don't have to find it. Like, it was really weird. I was like, this is a field? Like, it's just people looking <laughs> at words. <laughs> like, it was but in philosophy, like love of words. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, it's not. It was like the study of words, but in like a different. Ling like the ling framing was like really weird. Try to think of the word. Or oh, enthusiasm. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's like sometimes when I do philosophy, I just think like, this is so esoteric. Like, why? Why am I doing this? <laughs> Yeah, I I get that. Like, cause you spend so you you like you go for hours on trying to understand a concept, and you just come to the conclusion like, well, why wasn't I like doing something that would contribute to yeah, my, why, my success? Why wasn't I like going outside and touching grass? Like, what yeah, was why, I doing? Why did I bother, <laughs> Why did I go all this effort to just? Oh, that's actually much efficient that way, isn't it? Huh? You like. 
Do like a little hole and just go, and just go for it. Yeah, like... I feel like I've, we're at the point where we play Minecraft so much like there. Yeah, there's more efficient ways to mine stuff and stuff like that. But you just get, once you've done it for 100 hours or whatever, you just want to mix it up and just mine in different ways. Just to keep it interesting. <laughs> like, you got to think about it. I've mined this entire pit. So <laughs> yeah. Slime That's a lot of interesting. Mine. They just fix my pick. That's all I see them as now. I just see them as, oh, look, they're fixing my pick. That's, that's that. Good. So the, the field on 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 philosophy. No, what I'm reading into now is more history at the moment. I've gone into history on the side. Yeah, you have to do a bit of history. To, you have to basically the history gives you the context for where the ideas like why they were pondering yeah. those ideas. So I'm doing doing Rome for a bit. Doing Rome for a bit. Classic. Even though like. They weren't the greatest philosophers, but they're pretty good. Like it was really the Greeks that I'd say, like the ones that still stick out a lot today. Well, I'm reading. Um, I'm reading the Stoic man himself. Um, Marcus the Aurelius. fifth, the fifth Roman emperor. Yeah. He was a Jew. Yeah. Respect. <laughs> Stoicism is very is a very popular thing right now because it's very practical. Like to think like a Stoic gives you a lot of, um, what's the word, like it eases a lot of your anxiety, I think. So that's why it's quite popular right now. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm worrying about this thing. And he goes, does worrying about this thing actually help you progress in your life? And it's like, no. It's like, stop worrying about it. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Let's go, stoic. It's just a very practical way well, of looking. But I like getting into stoicism. I was trying to find like, okay, I need to find a good entry book because like there's like a million books on this. There isn't one. You just you just go for meditations and it takes. Well, as I long found as well. I found a really good one. Like, cause I watched a lot and I was like, okay, this one seems really cool, uh, and it is. I'm enjoying it. And he this talks is a real about cool it. Book. There's no one ever about philosophy books. <laughs> and he was going on like, well, like, I'm on my, like, 50th read and, like, man. It's it's still, it, I'm still learning so much from his book. And, uh, and I was like, man, this is like the Bible. That's what people say about the Bible. It's like, let's keep reading it and keep learning things about this, this Yeah, book. then you go, oh, this makes sense for how religions were made. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's gonna someone be writes a, a religion. Someone writes a good man. book, and then people just start believing, like just following it word for word, making high, making it to a higher level, elevating it to like this is the word of the universe, this is the truth of everything, and then get a couple people in there who are like in charge, and then you start organizing, and then bada bing, bada boom, got yourself a good religion. You know, what I think the the one the religious people that I enjoy com com conversing with is the ones that admit that they could be wrong and then and and like and only are following it because it just seems like a really good no are, are they the one they basically i would say that logic. they're the ones that would say that yes it is a leap of faith but that's the whole point of the religion yeah that's like a whole point of yeah, this yeah that's the whole point and i was like fair <laughs> like yeah make leaves of faith every day <laughs> You're just, yeah, exactly. you're, just, you're just happy to admit. You go to sleep one. and you, you take the the gamble that you're actually going to wake up. Yeah. Like, are you just... really going to wake up? <laughs> How do you just die in your sleep? This reminds me of the. Oh, this is another variation of like the knowledge one. The dream and the dream one. You said Inception, which you which is reminds me of the the dream. How do you know you're not dreaming one? And so it, there's an Indian guy who's like, I dreamt I was a butterfly, <laughs> but how do I know that I was dreaming that I was a butterfly, or the butterfly is dreaming that I was sleeping and dreaming about it? Again, or, that's just like typical philosophers getting I really. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, see what what um someone who's really chill would be like it's like well if i was like thinking i was a butterfly then i'd just be a butterfly yeah yeah it's just, i just accept my reality i was just like oh whatever Eve, I, I don't need pollinate. to pollinate i will pollinate like a champ i'll be the chad butterfly and get loads of butterfly <laughs> poo in my <I> <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
I only live for one week, but damn, it's a good week. <laughs> damn, it's a, it's a prosperous week. But what if you're a butterfly and you, you're, you know, you have to be a stoic butterfly. You're in a, you're in a time of hardship. <laughs> stoic butterfly. <laughs> Like, I like damn. them. <laughs> like, damn. There's no one going on here, but I gotta make the best of what I have. <laughs> <laughs> like, is, is fluttering around be not doing much gonna solve my problem? No, I gotta flutter around and hope there's uh, flowers around the bend. Yeah, they're, they're, I just gotta keep flying. And I, I gotta, gotta, gotta keep, keep fluttering flying. until there is. I wanna just stop. I haven't seen any flowers, but if I know I'm just gonna believe. Like I've just gotta do it. I've just gotta keep yeah. going. Because if I, I stop, I'm dead anyway, so I might as well <laughs> yeah. keep going. That's that's the that's, stoic butterfly. That's the stoic butterfly. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I have a memory. There's unlocked a memory. When I was walking in there's just one road that we end up walking in in Italy that was just dead like it was abandoned no one was there we took a very unusual route to this beach because we went around a really long way because we wanted to go to this very specific pizza place and yes it was worth it it was the best pizza ever and the walk that's fun yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we got stopped by the police as well whilst getting there because we climbed over this fence that we weren't supposed to be climbing over purely because it was faster than just walking around the fence oh yeah just casual commit crime yeah, and so as we jumped over the fence and jumped onto the road, the police car drove by and stopped. They didn't even say anything. The, the Italian policemen just stared at us. We walked up to them and were like, oh yeah, like, uh, we were just uh, lost. We just lied. Like, well, we were just lost. We were trying to get to the beach. We were going this way. And we just like, yeah. We're tourists. We're stupid. Exactly. We were playing, we were playing stupid because we, before we jumped over the fence, we were like, yeah, we're just going to go this way because it's faster. And just did it. <laughs> When the police came, we're like, oh no, oh no, we're not, sorry, sorry, yes, we're tourists. And they, left, and they said nothing and just drove away. Yeah, they, they literally looked at me like stupid tourists. So it worked. <laughs> yeah, it worked out pretty well. <laughs> Little did they know. Um. Anyway, this walk, uh, there's loads of lizards. I saw loads of lizards. Most amount of wild lizards I've ever seen. They're just chilling. Yeah, Every the geckos are sick. Are they geckos? I don't no, know. No, they're, they're just common sick. lizards. Geckos are, geckos are the ones that you see in like, Madagascar and they're like yeah, vibing. Yeah, geckos are sick. Geckos are different. Yeah, these are similar yeah. reptilian, yeah. but not. Yeah, <laughs> the, the lizards, they're loads. Because no one really walks there and it seems like a good climate for them. So they're just chilling. So every like. Uh, 30 seconds, you just like see one running it's like, <laughs> and then run hide. And it's like that for like a solid 15 minutes of the walk. Just constant. Yeah, look at it. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Are you trying to get a. Um... Oh. There's just a lot of mobs here. Well, this is not too Okay, we go to bed. Why can't you go to sleep? There's slimes and skeletons. Uh, yes, <laughs> things in the way. <laughs> Just thinking of the stoic butterfly, can't I? <clears throat> The powerful image of the stoic butterfly. <laughs> and then that's assuming that the butterfly is like actively has the freedom to choose whether to keep flying or not. Mm. Or is the butterfly just like programmed like a computer to just keep flying? Mm. And if it if it's programmed to and it's not choosing to, is it really stoic? Mm. Well, Program to so you're saying like it's DNA? Yeah, like it, it's not like it has the choice to fly or not. It just knows fly. That's like this. Imagine it's like I just imagine it's like a, a game. It yeah. just has one button, it could just fly. You don't have B as well to stop flying. Like this is evolution. Really tough question because you can't just yeah like evolutionarily right because like all the butterflies that stopped flying and then died like just that would just be bred out or whatever so there wouldn't be butterflies. Then. 
like do that. They only stop when they run out of energy. And they're like, oh yeah. I don't know, I'm making a lot of assumptions here about butterflies. I don't know why. Do you know that butterflies can also be, like, the caterpillars can just be a butterfly or a moth? That, that, they just, what, like Pokemon? Yeah, like, they just, they can be both. They just, it just happens. I'm not sure why they, one or the other one happens, but they can be both. Huh. I think I knew that, but then I forgot it. And now yeah. I know it again. I remember learning that the Bristol Zoo, and I was like, what? I was like, really? They like, should be both? <laughs> yeah, what is it that makes some of the moths and some of Because moths are such dickheads. Why are they Why are they an evolutionarily option? Like? <laughs> why, is it, why is this an option for them? <laughs> it's like you had a, like a character screen, you got to pick like which character you want, and you're like, yeah, I want the one that's a dickhead. Like, that's nah, to be fair, sometimes you do want to be the dickhead. It's fun. <laughs> All the moths are just the players that want to troll. <laughs> yeah, they're like, that's funny. Stimulation. <laughs> These goddamn muffs. Mm. Mm. I've made an arrow. Do -do 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 The end the wall is going that way. Aha, I trapped you, Slime. Now you die. <laughs> I've killed countless of your family, and I shall continue to kill more. <laughs> You're a long line of slimes that will die. The slime war. <laughs> Going on for many years now. 100 years slime war. 100 years slime war. That's perhaps another one on this. I want to learn both 100. The, there's two 100 year wars with France, with England. Let's go. <laughs> imagine, imagine not one, but two one, over 100 year. That's conflicts. like three generations of people, if not more. <laughs> Yeah, man, they just... Like, imagine how bitter you have to be to, like, your, like, granddad starting the war and you're like, man, we've got to keep fighting this. <laughs> Dude, Maybe. it's really important, really you, you got to fight in this war. And you're like, why did we start this war? And it's like, I didn't even know. It's like, fucking 100 years ago, man. It's like, why was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, it, well, we know it's land. Come on, it's going to be land. It's like... Yeah, it's true. I want this land. I'm just trying to be light-hearted, man. The truth is, powerful people are at the top with lots of power because they want power, so they go for more power. That tends to be the case. Yeah, they're like, well, yeah. Where should, where'd I well, go I already here? got this far. <laughs> yeah, how far can I take it? Okay, this, this is a good topic because I recently watched another law video that was recently released and he talks about China's oil dependency. Okay. And I, don't, I know. It's, it's his most recent vid. As always, smashed out of the park. Very good. His editor style is actually really like simplistic. Anyway, this, oh, this shout! Is this real life lore? Yeah. Just shout out. And the slimes are chasing me. It's because you killed his and family and his family. I can't too. remember the straight. The straight where basically majority of the oil is well, of China's trade. Is this in the fruit. South China Sea or? Is yeah, this... it's in South China Sea. It's a straight. Yeah, yeah. Where, that's not controlled by China, yeah, which makes me anxious. I don't think it's even called the China Sea. Like I think, I think I'm just. And know, it's the, it's the, it is called the Chinese um, Sea, but the the claims of the sea is is more than China. Oh, that's what it is. Uh, although China claims most of it, so there's conflicts of claiming. Yeah, because that's not following the rules. <laughs> yeah, China's not following the rules. The maritime sure. borders. Yeah, it's, uh, I guess if you got more guns, the rules don't apply. Cough, yes. cough, America. Cough, cough. Yeah, but America does follow the rules, right? They make the rules and then they don't follow them. It's ridiculous. Oh, so they're not following this rule? They're like the oh, yeah, They haven't signed a Geneva Convention, bro. That was ages ago. Geneva. Well, I know that the um, UK is in like most of the clubs that America's in, so it's cool. <laughs> That's how it works. 
It's like, well, it's the major power, and you're like you're in most of the clubs with them. I'm it's pretty cool. convinced, like, the UK is literally just a bank. Like, it's just a bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just funds yeah. shit. It just moves stuff around. It's like, oh, America, we got like bear, co they got bear offshore bank accounts. Like, if you just want to like move your money around and give us a <laughs> bit of money for moving the money to these places and charging you like no tax, like, that'd be pretty sweet, right? Yeah. And you know how like you like bases and stuff? Well, we got we got military bases all over the place. Like, you know, you wanna wanna there build is some a military more base that UK and and America share in the in the North Pacific. I don't know, this is so yeah. Like between like France, America and the UK, you pretty much cover nearly the entire sea. Like you at least have like something somewhere most of the time. Like a little island in the sea. That they took in like Pirates of the Caribbean times. <laughs> <laughs> That was been pretty sick though, to be fair. Well, because no like, one was probably in I mean, the killing the native people and enslaving was definitely not good. That's definitely not a good thing. But just finding cool shit was pretty cool. Like sailing around and finding stuff in Oz found. Definitely. Like, I like that idea. That's pretty cool. Like the Age of Exploration, I believe, is what was called, right? There's this map. I think I have it. Which is... Oh yeah, I get to edit another uh, map video next. Huzzah. Yeah, good, yeah. good times for me. Good times ahead for for future yeah. Amble. Speaking of maps, love maps. <laughs> love map videos. I've learned so much about America. Wow. Just love. what you wanted, because there's yeah. not enough American media out there already. Yeah, I guess I learned more about America. Well, actually, I was teaching this guy from uh, Michigan about the some facts about Michigan that he didn't know. Like what? That's the North Mich Michigan um, area, which is like, was originally separated, uh, and you can actually get there from the other part of Michigan without going through another state. Oh, and then they ceded it to other people. Like. And this uh, separate part proposed to be its own state called Superior, named after Lake Superior, because it's near the Great Lakes of uh, North America. Because Michigan's next to Lake Michigan. Woohoo! Makes sense. We did it. And uh, they were denied, naturally. Because obviously, if they weren't denied, it'd be called Superior. America, the land of the free if we say so. Do you know one of the only states? I didn't know this. Didn't, only, some, there's a few states, but I know Texas has the power to kind of divide itself into more states if it wanted to. Uh, I don't know. Um, no, it's true. They can do, Texas can do this, and I imagine there's some other states, but Texas seems to have a lot of power. It's like, I swear there's like I heard a thing where it's like Texas could subsede from the United States if they wanted to legally. Yeah, Texas shit. can do a lot of things. Yeah, because it's like the second richest state, I think, right? Behind California, and then is New York third? I can't remember. Do you like my Something like that. Do you like my, the way, top I, do you like the way I'm doing this? Yeah, we're just, we're just digging, digging obsidian. Just dig it as far into like. Diggy diggy hole. It's when you look up, you realize the skip. Yeah. No, I'm, just, doing, just, I'm doing a good job here. I'm, I'm just, like this. Just look up. There's something like really satisfying about just digging this shit. Which is probably why I spent so long doing this. Also, I just really want to get this done. So I have the. Like, the sad part is I reached bedrock and then they added a whole 64 layers as I got to the bottom and then had to dig another 64 layers. Yeah, that is, that is quite unfortunate. <laughs> That's how it's taken spin. I'm trying to find the borders. Okay, there the borders. Alright, time to go down another layer. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm thinking about. You know this center... Uh, the center, like, pillar. <gasps> I found there's no obsidian! Oh, to here, look. Made it underneath. <laughs> oh, this is good. But yeah, you see this center, the center bit? Yeah. I'm thinking, like, having it as, like, a big ass spiral all the way up. Whoa. You're ambitious. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I know. This is what I mean by the goalposts. And just keep keep adding more stuff. It's gonna be beautiful, man. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. It already looks sick anyway. 
I need to just keep adding. It's, it's just it's literally just like a, a hollow shell right now. It's not it's not even anything. Seems like no one's interested in uh, the title Existential Crisis and Mining. <laughs> People are like, I have enough of that in my life already. <laughs> yeah, it was a bold title. It was a bold title. And that's what we like to see on Twitch. Bold title. <laughs> you, you gotta try it, you know, see if it yeah, works. Push the boat. Hey, you can't make philosophy fun, apparently. That's what we've learned here today. Nah. <laughs> We could do, just gotta do another one, do it slightly differently. We are just mining obsidian. Huh? But yeah, um. That'll be end. Do you know, I reckon there will be another major world conflict, and it's probably gonna be uh, China. In America related. I mean, that's that's quite an easy guess, I'd say, I because they're already like proxy fighting each other economically anyway. Yeah, it's just gonna get to a point where like you can't do that to me. <laughs> I reckon China will win. Yeah, why is that? Because I don't see the American people having. Like, they're too divided, like, they care about their politics too much, about this left-right shit, whereas China doesn't have as much of that. Mainly because they dissent and kill them, but I think that's an advantage. I think, I mean, I think, they definitely I, don't I think you're, you're giving um, the American people... Like, if it comes to conflict, and they're okay, questioning they're just, their, their yeah. way of being, I think they're, they're, they'd step up. Like, I wonder how long it'll take for them to realise that the whole world has just been feeding them with like race baiting stuff to just keep them distracted for ages to fight themselves. Like, I wonder when they'll figure that out. <laughs> I find America really odd because it's really isolated, like really isolating. They don't really know much about the outside world, outside America. I find that odd. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it does. It does come across as very insular. Like, when you speak to an American, and they're like, "Oh, I've never left America." I don't know anything about anywhere else. I don't, I barely even know about America. Like it's like, damn. Like whereas, like comp in comparison, like most European people you speak to. Well, European countries are different because we're like. Uh, I've recently have felt proud to be the associated with Europe, because <laughs> I was like, damn, there's so much history here with, with these people conflicting each other, and it's sick because you can go to any European city and just walk around, and that's like the way of life. Whilst in America, you, it's all like spaced out. It's all driving around. It's not as it's not as like yeah. weird and confused and weird. It's a, yeah, because it's more modern. It's very. Power <laughs> like, I love the wiggly weirdness. I love that. Like, this is really strange. like why is it like this? It's so silly, but yeah, it's sick because they like built it like two thousand, like a thousand, two like it, it could be all sorts of shit. Like it could be thousand years old. You don't know. Like it could be like a one thousand year old village where obviously they didn't even like have cars or anything. They just had horses. Yeah, so I'm like, why I'm would continuing, you? Need I'm continuing this whole. I'm going. Down. Also, like I always imagine, you know how Minecraft, like when you build a bit, like when you first play Minecraft, and you build a base, and then you yeah. just like add a room to it, and then you add another room to it, and then you add another place to it, and you connect it all up slowly over time by adding more stuff. I feel like that's really how a lot of European places were built. Yeah. And that's why they have that that feel. Yeah. And then there are some places which were like designed by like actual civil engineers. Or, well, here you go. So a lot OGs. of um, a lot of it was, you could say, it was built from the outside, from the inside center, then outward. It started from one point and spread outwards, like it grew out like a flower. While some American yeah. places were fought ahead, and so they kind of built the whole thing. Considering mind. the rest of, of the outside, so it's like the outside in. So oh, here's the border, yeah, but... and we're gonna have this much space, and then we've gotta build this in this much space. So it's the outside in. Yeah, I feel like what that's done though is made really bad architecture in America, and they've really screwed themselves with like having to drive everywhere, and, like making everything car orientated and making everything have like huge suburbs and stuff. Like you like you see how big house like that's the thing people always say they're like oh go to America and you spend like the same money and you get like a way bigger house and more land and stuff because like when they were making it they did they were like oh we got loads of land like we got loads of land and then they just build big houses but the thing is 
those houses are some of the worst houses for the environment in the world. Like suburban detached houses are really bad for the environment. So they kind of played themselves there. I've learned a lot about passive houses recently, which is like a type of house build that's more expensive, but long term more cost effective because it essentially it is really good at uh, being tempered in any environment, like being the right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so like it, it, the house like breathes essentially. Afraid, <laughs> super effectively. <laughs> That's like a Pokemon. House you just breathe. It was super effective. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to have made this hole. Yeah, I'm not bad. I'm satisfied with this hole. And it's lined up, so it's actually. Yeah, I, I tried to line up. Just I think we made them. We've, we've dug a lot of obsidian away, so this has been pretty good. You happy? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> He's happy. Can I go? <laughs> one of them uh, can I go repair my my uh, one of my tools? I actually need to. Have... I need to actually not even repair, but actually. Level up this this silk hut silk yeah, touch. Just, just go, man. You don't need to ask me, man. Like, if I'm online, you can just go and use it for XP. Nice. Last time I, I repaired it? my tools, I actually went to the skeleton farm and farmed for a bit so I could get some bones. Stonks. Oops, 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 oops. But I definitely didn't take as much as I farmed. I didn't really count. Yeah, just take it. No one's. There's so many bones, like, just to take. I'm gonna say that and then I'm gonna be like, man, where are my bones? <laughs> now you got loads. I, 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 honestly. Honestly, you have loads. Because for a while it was like the only XP source. So all I did was farm bones. Well, skeletons and just get bones. And then there's like, I made a mob farm and a nap. Got skeletons too, and then also you just kill skeletons in general. So you just get loads of bones. Right. Oh my even light trip I didn't even realize. Wow. Cool. Thank you, Slime. <laughs> it's like three nearly four rockets to fly out. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this Off is we go. Disabled people. There's no disabled access here, so I've failed them. Whatever. Yeah, I can't they walk yet. I like walking. Yeah, it has I haven't got that far yet. I'm going to your bookshop. Go to the green lab, look for the books. Gonna the yeah, boxes. I recently restocked it, so it should have everything. Do you have the sneak? Swift sneak? Nah, because we haven't found... Uh, we, do, we haven't found any of the new stuff. We, <laughs> we haven't gone to 119 yet. We haven't even got mud. All the new trees. Oh yeah, mud. Which now gives me an excuse to get rid of the tree farm and build a new one, so that's good. Oh, what's wrong with the tree farm? I just want to turn into like a really nice garden entrance for the WR room. Mm. Like when you go to one of those fancy places, yeah, you know, like a cool garden in front. Right, so this needs efficiency five. It needs mending three. I should make it into one super book and then put it on the X. I don't think that that's the best way to do it. I think if you put like Efficiency, I can't remember, there's like a, basically an order you can do it, but you combine like two books together, then put the two books onto the thing, and then combine another two books together, and then put those books onto the okay. thing. I, th and I think that's the best way of doing it. I can't see. It depends on what it is. And I'm breaking, is what I need. Did I pay for it? I have now. Is my bookshop being robbed again? No. Has it been <laughs> robbed? I don't know. It's because it's like, I don't restock it very often. I always like take the diamonds out and then I come back like a month later and I'm like, wait, did I take these diamonds or did someone not pay? I have no idea. Hmm, hmm, hmm. see. What the heck is unbreaking? Oh, there 
guys. I just need unbreaking and efficiency. What are you making? And I have a silk touch mending axe. I want efficiency and unbreaking on it. Uh, here I go again, killing slimes. Let's go. <laughs> and now it's going to be a beautiful X. What are you going to call it? Oh, it's already called. It's called Eva underscore G. Ooh. After uh, the famous Australian fan that existed for first a time. First donor. First donor. Yeah. They always have that. So she has this X. They named after her. Until you fall in lava and lose it. No, just, it's <laughs> well, I haven't yet though. Actually, I can't lose this in lava because. Um... Yeah. Okay, you can't fall into the void. I haven't no. lost anything yet. Touch wood. Okay. Don't plan to start anytime soon. Uh, I, I have no idea. I, re I really need to finish my castle and build an actual storage room because it's now getting to the point where I'm just losing track so much. Yep. Yeah, I can go with it some stuff is. Real chess monster vibes. <laughs> hey, I'm a true Minecraft. <laughs> Got those chess monsters. I ain't got time to organize chests. I gotta do stuff. Now. So the Guardian Farm still works. Sweet. Does it? I've not tried it. Uh, I thought you just said it did. No. Well, I, I said so does it. I'm in I theory, I... yes. Okay. I don't see why it wouldn't work. They haven't changed anything to do with XP, item pickups, or guardians. So I reckon it will be fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Why is XP here already? On my lucky day. Love to see it. It's on. Does it work? We'll see. It takes a little while to load. It does, yeah. Got a little start up time. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see I see things dying. And Good spawning. Time. That's good. Oh, yep, here comes the XP. Like a nice conveyor belt. It's flowing in nicely. Yes. Yes. Now I get even more melons. Oh, and that's repaired. And it's and it's and it's nice. Cool. Yeah, let's get a couple levels while I'm here. Yeah, just casually get to level hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculously fast. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling level so when you designed this farm, do you, were you aware of how effective it was going to be? No. So you're just like, wow, this is really good. The only one I'd seen was the one where instead of putting the shredders there, they put like shredders and never portals and then, or like just never portals. And then you teleport them through the never portals into the never and have like a second person there. And that was really fast. Probably mm -hmm. faster than that. And that's the only one I'd seen. Damn. I think that was Silent Whisper on his like bedrock server like i saw i don't know what season it was like an old one it's like ages ago it was a uh, one way it, like they got sent to the nether hmm. which is where i stole the shredder design from and then made it smaller because i didn't want the extra shit <laughs> so you, you made it better oh, i just yeah i just did what i want with it hi Minero, and welcome back we're just coming out of mining the well no i just came out from mining the 
obsidian because I wanted to improve one of my tools. So now it's better. And I've repaired it. Why not go see Scotland since we're here? Go say hi to the king. Yeah, I guess go say hi to the king. Probably no one's visited that cow. In or maybe the, or maybe the uh, Wilbur the sheep. Or not Wilbur. <laughs> he be chill. Where is he? Should be. How there are you doing? Oh yeah, off-brand Wilbur sit. Doing Scream. Well. We did a philosophy. I don't think anyone cares, but I think we did a good job. So. Well, I, you know, I ain't good damn. Made me, made me more wise. <laughs> I haven't made you more I question wise. everything. I don't think I know anything, but I feel wise. <laughs> yeah. The point is to be wise. Um, R.I.P. Cluck. Lieutenant Cluck. He was... He let I'm gonna he, give him an 07. He left his world too soon. On oh, his grum. In his disgusting house. To sort it out. Grum, more like bum. Oh, praise be indeed. Praise be. This grum's apple. He likes an apple. Alright, let's go see the king. Thank you. On the elevator. <laughs> what a great elevator. <laughs> hey, you built it. <laughs> Uh, there's Moo Moo. He's not bursting any moves. That's upsetting. Oh, oh! Maybe? Maybe he's gonna bust a few moves for us today? Is he feeling shy? He's camera shy. Hmm. He's never been camera shy. Is something wrong, Moo Moo? What's happened? What's going on? <laughs> Is he not dancing? What's wrong? He's ill. Yeah, he's not dancing. No. They ruined him. Who's they? The Minecraft devs. <laughs> he should be dancing. Oh, yeah. there's, a little, there's, there's a little wiggle there. Oh. Stretch. I have to get up now. Stretch. Hang on. Speech. How'd you do this? <sighs> One, I'll do 30 seconds. I'll spin my arms as well for a bit. I think this is a photo of Djibouti market in the background, I think. I can't remember. Some African market somewhere. That was relevant to a toy cat. Yeah, that's some point. Yeah. You know that small place, Africa? Just there. <laughs> some, yeah, some I map. love it when people say, oh, it's tribal. I'm like, which tribe? <laughs> 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 like, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a very African tribe thing. It's like, oh, wait, which tribe? Like, which tribe are you talking yeah. about? And like, uh, which, which part in history are you talking about here? Like, which African tribe are you referring to here? It's like, you're, talking, you're talking about the, what's his name? It's, Is it's it? all, I always forget his name. name. What was his name? The Thank guy who was like the richest dude ever. Thank like you for stretch breaking. Pardon? Oops. Like one of the like they say like the ri basically the richest person to ever live was like this African uh king. Oh yeah, like, I've learned to get he, and he just went around with gold. Yeah, yeah, he like broke the economy by being like a dope guy. I was like, I rate that. You can imagine being <laughs> so rich, you just go around just because he went on um Yeah, he went on, his, he went on the parades. No, no, no. He went to he went to because he was a Muslim. He went to Mecca or something. So he went to his. I can't remember what it's called where you take a journey there. There's a word for it. I'm sounding real ignorant, but whatever. There's a word for it. And on his journey, he took like a huge ass caravan and took like shit loads of gold. And then on the way, he just gave out loads of gold and he like destroyed the economy for ages because like everyone just had shit loads of gold. So it made the value of gold go down. How do you get these riches? That's a question. That's that's baller right there. Uh, he just was rich. Yeah, definitely not slave labor. Uh, let's move on. Just like everyone else. Wayo. Wayo, mining mines, mining gold in mine with people dying, but it's okay because that's my goal. 
Am I going the right way? Yes. That's why I miss corners, because sometimes I'm not sure if I'm going down the right way. Okay. Yeah, I still haven't put them back on. I, I just like the clean screen. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm chill with it also not being there. But yeah. I gonna, it gives wanna, value to compasses. And, do you want to help uh, out in um, cake land? Sorry, men and What we got to do in cake? What am I going to do there? Mine melons and place them. Yeah, I'll come over in a minute. Let me just finish. You know, different kind of project. You changed tile, you're not existentially mining now. It's not existential crisis of mining, it's existential crisis and farming. No, <laughs> terraforming. I guess in a way it was terraforming. And uh, existential crisis with 20,000 melons. So, oh yeah, we'll do do philosophy. Oh, what we'll do you do philosophy? Just make everything like, existential. Um, and then it's the philosophy. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, it's that easy. Is this the end of the tunnel? Or is this the start of the tunnel? Ah, it's the end, yes. I can tell by the distinct red and white and purple back to this portal. In summary, free man and labor. Yes. Free man and labor. Yeah, exactly. He did help me mine obsidian, so it's only fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm offering a change of environment. Wee. What's what's the average pay? What's the what's the uh, what's your average pay? So. Oh, I don't pay anything. <laughs> there you go. There's well, your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Non-existent clout, I'll pay you in that. Yeah, I'll pay in, in the clout that I don't have. <laughs> yeah, that I might have potential future clout that doesn't exist. Yeah. And probably won't, I'll pay you in that. Seems yeah. good. It's a good deal, man. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Final offer, final offer. <laughs> okay. I'm, I am placing... So it's this, there's a few things you can do here. Either you can... Get the melons and replace replace uh, the ring outside the giant melon with melons. <laughs> so many times. Okay, I'm just realizing how many times I said melon. Or you can come down the melon uh, line here with dirt and build the next farm layer. Uh -huh. So there's the there's your options. Wait. So it's either place melons outside. Or make more farms for melons. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> after, after, <laughs> you don't think this is enough melon farming? <laughs> no, I want it to be so I can I can never stop efficiently like getting more melons. <laughs> Do you ever think you have a problem? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm just beyond caring now. <laughs> Do you think it's funny? <laughs> this is just my identity now. I just farm melons like. <laughs> This is just this is part of the way of life. I replace land with melon, and then I take the land to use like, to grow more melons like, to replace like, the land. You know, you're making me smile. Thank you, Minion. You're making me smile. Think about how ridiculous it is. But to you, this is like already settled in. Is like kind of like not ridiculous. But to you, in your mind of like you're so comfortable with this idea, uh, it's still ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you're still like, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, I, like, I, did, I spent the past three months mining a hole, and I think this is stupid. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might need like this hole I've been mining. Yeah, this is a hole. It used to be um, the top layer used to be where this wood platform was. And it's like down here somewhere. It'd be impressive if it wasn't just to be refilled with more melon. Well, do you like how the water streams go all the way to the top? And it's, it's most efficiently, yeah, that's efficiently pretty placed. Cool. Yeah, that's, I, I rate that. That's pretty cool. And they're, very, they're all very efficiently efficient. Why placed. don't rate is this ladder that underneath? Why yes. does it change? Oh yeah, because that's like that's like the old ladder, and this is the new ladder. <laughs> <laughs> we hate the old ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not as efficient. So back to editing. Have fun with melons. I wish they were. 
different types of bands, but no Man's always fine. Hey. What's that thing? Their melons are affected by light and how they how fast they grow initially. Really? Like oh, the stem. Well, like the stem at the beginning. Yeah. Because like they only like to me, I see I literally see it. You can actually see it on this. This layer is above. anecdotal evidence from growing shit loads of melons. No, look, look, at, look at this I... layer up here, Jamie. You can see that the section which is the least developed is the section which is dark. <laughs> and the other ones with light are more developed. Ah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, did you not just strategically place them? Or is this just pure RNG? No, this has happened every single time I've done a new layer. Okay, yeah, that's what I mean. If it's happened every time, then yeah. But they will grow, can... and once they grow, they kind of just doesn't, doesn't matter anymore. It's like, they'll just keep popping off. Just keep popping off. More melons for me. But I do have to light it so that they do grow. <laughs> it's great because, like, when you terraform, you get more dirt, and then yeah. when you need more melons, you make more farms and you use the dirt to make more farms. And yeah, I and said that. It's a great This whole cycle. process is just an endless cycle <laughs> of just taking melons. But replacing the land with melons to then use the land to grow more melons to replace the land and so on. Yeah, no, well, because Minecraft has this thing of infinite resource loops, and this is now it's like a large scale of one of those that I've, we've accidentally stumbled upon. We? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was never like, yeah, let's go mine loads of melons. That was always you. <laughs> I just enabled it. I'll take that. Like, I definitely it was like not going. Oh, why would you do that? I was like, yeah, fuck it, do it. <laughs> I definitely enabled. And I definitely helped us. I helped you build the farm and that like the redstone bit, and that's it. <laughs> like, and I just left you to your own devices. I like how you're like, yeah, it's not we, and you're like, well, actually, here's all the reasons why it is. <laughs> it was like, yeah, I was like, actually, now I think about it, I'm just enabling the shit out. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm enabling it right now by just making the platform. Yeah. It's beautiful. You know what we need? More melons. Oh, this is a pity. Oh, this could be way more efficient, yes. Oh no. Oh, that is annoying. No, don't touch the other one. Okay, don't. Okay. Phew. It's fixed. I had a moment there, I had a moment. It's all fixed now. Mm. Were you staring at the melons just a little bit too intensely? You could say that. That is a genius idea. Oh, I got rid of the water source. A <laughs> genius idea. <laughs> a genius idea involving, I'm guessing, melons. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Like Nikola, Nikola Tesla and all geniuses <laughs> pack their weirdness in it. Nikola Tesla had his pigeons, Amble has his men. Yeah, it's genius. He started with cakes. He was like, nah. No. Right. Every time I look at this farm, my FPS drops. It's Really? Yeah, yeah, like when I'm looking this way, it's fine, and as soon as I stare directly at all the redstone, it's like... Bleh. I had an accident with some seeds. Now, where is he? <laughs> seeds. I think he might be experiencing FPS drops because of all, like, the... Like, the plants that are updating constantly? No, no, it's the redstone. It's because I'm playing on a PS4. Just, 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 what the heck was that explosion? 
Not good. Is me? I just please block. Huh? Did you have that explosion too? I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're going crazy. You've been my farming melons too much, mate. <laughs> Gaslighting me. I definitely <laughs> had <have these formations. laughs> It was a creeper in the hole. In my hole? Yeah, in this hole here. He was making more, more hole. He's helping you out. He's doing you a favor. Oh, it's part of the cause, part of the melon growing cause. That's fine. Dude, hoeing, hoeing the land is like such a satisfying part of the process. You just Strong. hold one button and move forward. Yeah. It's so I satisfying. It's satisfying. It's pretty good. <laughs> I recommend. Well, you, you get you can get the pleasure of trying it. Yeah, let me get my like never right hoe out. No, no, no. Like, when, when it's done, when it's done, when it's done. I get my special hoe out for this one. <laughs> My what makes it special? Uh, it's made in Neverite, and I got it from the pigs. I think my one is too. Is yours Neverite? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a pig. It's a pig one. Then. <laughs> but back when they could give you Neverite hose for like one week, and then they patched it. Then you exploited it. Oh yeah, I got a lot of those, man. It's pretty good. You were on it in that update. You're like, yes. Yeah, because I, I, I didn't even want the Neverite hose. I, they're actually an inconvenience. It was actually to farm um, like Blackstone and Brying Obsidian. Uh, what else did you get? I think that was it. Yeah, it was mainly those. I think. All right, time to hoe the land. You managed quite loads of Neverite hose. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next layer. you got to hoe this land. you got to hold this land, man. You're a farmer. I don't have my hoe. Borrow my hoe. Where's my hoe? Nah, that's dirty, man. Oh. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just Damn. I got this box here. Look, look at this. So I got a, I got a thing for this occasion. Oh my oh, god, there's you. a there's a raid. There's a villager raid is in the farm. How do they get there? Why? They how just, do they spawn in the in know. the melon farm? Wait, where are they? They're in the melon farm on the on the main floor. <laughs> just walking around. <laughs> now they see us! Oh ah. shit, don't run. <laughs> annoying. No, man. they're coming for the melons. <laughs> they know their value. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> um, <laughs> I need my chest plate on. Like, we have to kill them and not the flag guy. There's no villagers here. Oh, they're all after you. I'm chilling with them. They're, they're, they're my homies. No, please kill them. <laughs> I'm chilling. They're, bro, they're, they're pretty sound. You should come up here. Like They're not shooting. I'm armoring up. It's pretty safe, man. Like I'm chilling. Armoring up. They don't even care that I'm here. Look at this. Oh, shit. Now they care. I stepped on the melons. They weren't happy. Okay, we need to... No, no, no. Alright, oh, they should go here. Yeah, I don't want the curse. What a tragic event. I always forget and then I go set a raid off and I'm like, shit. Oh, they destroyed so many. It's the competition. They sent gangsters to come destroy your business because you're competing with their melon productions. Bitch jealous. Bitch jealous they can't get this many melons. It's a sad oh, yeah. day for the melon farm. Under attack. Yeah, they stuck on this spawn in the farm. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> they didn't destroy any more seeds. I bet they spawned on a melon. No, they can't spawn on melons. They've just spawned between the melons because. Oh. Hey, it's Foxy the Fox. Welcome, it's Foxy. No cooking shrimp. Yeah, where's the cooking shrimp, man? No cooking shrimp. Okay. I think you make it like more of a good video. I wasn't thinking like... Cook. We need to do some cook. 
hi blobster. And then hi dash 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 dash. Asterix, 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 asterix. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how you find the hoeing? Oh, it's because it's and by blobster. It means and hi. We both didn't see that. That's some dyslexic oh. show. Fo Foxy. Yo, oh. I missed everyone. My computer is still on fire. I'm currently using my phone to be on this one. No. I'm sure much has changed since last time we've we've chatted. Yeah, the there's so many more melons. Oh yeah, in terms of yeah, in Minecraft, yeah. <laughs> but taking a, talking about cooking stream of vid off stream. So you're saying cooking stream, but then make it into a video. Mm. Yeah. No. It would be re it would be very chaotic. True, true. You can cook that pizza thing that you're cooking recently. My Napoleon pizza. Yeah, yeah. I have to get my Shop. burrata. I need to get fresh yeast and burrata. Burrata. Yeah, what burrata. It's delicious cheese. I would say I that's more content. Yeah, true. Double dip. Mm, it is content. Mm. Oh, Foxy, 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 Foxy. Look at this. Oh, now, I'm, I'm currently being enslaved to uh, make more melon farm for Amble because he helped me dig my giant pit at the castle. So, this is the payment. Yes. Bigger farms. Maybe the next biome should be just hay bales. <laughs> what do you think about that? Yeah. <gasps> what about kelp? Know. What about kelp? Oh, that's a block. You don't see every day. You mean you can't? Oh, I mean dried kelp. Yeah, yeah. yeah the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it would look so goddamn ugly. It'd be cool. <laughs> It'd be unearthly. I really missed your streams, I kept missing them. Oh, I missed streaming as well, I missed chat. I missed it, it was pretty bad. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, it's come back. very great. Yeah, it's great when you're the not the slave, I think. It's for the greater good. Child labor force! <laughs> it's, it's for the greater good. Probably pays you in uh, clout. So it doesn't pay you. My dad used me for child slavery for his little business. Ah, yes, classic. Respect your dad. <laughs> now that's hustle right there. Yeah. Darn Dutch autocorrect. Just switch to the English keyboard. Yeah. How dare you use a different keyboard? Oh. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I wasn't saying that. <laughs> You're speaking English, <laughs> English, please. <laughs> yeah, I can tell it's a Dutch, a Dutch keyboard because I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not English. These letters just they're, they're just gibberish. Yeah. Hey, there's a llama in a boat down here. Yeah, that llama's been there for a while. I think Adri is claiming the llama. Oh, the llama has law. <laughs> yeah, the llama has law. It's been in there for ages. It's been in this, in this boat. And I think there's a chicken with it as well. I'm, I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes, yes, there is yeah, a they've chicken. Been here, as well. They've been here for like a very long time. Yeah. How am I live? Um, like I said, I just, I just edit for Toy Cat nowadays. That's my life. Pretty sweet. Yeah, some say it's pretty cool. Uh, what do I do? I just work in a castle. That's it. That's all I do now. And I'm waiting, saving up to fit, buy more stuff so I can stream again. <laughs> yes. Accumulate cash. Yes. I'm just hustling. I'm out here hustling, man. 
How about you, Foxy? Been, <laughs> well, we already know. She's been used as a child slave labor for her dad's business. Um, do you know Mira? Do you know Mira? Uh, I recognize the name, yes. Yeah, she she recently found, on a shout, shout out to Mira, she found the one hidden toy cat meme I've hidden there. I try hiding every toy cat video. She found it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out. I will stream again. And I'll face reveal, because why not? But I need to, basically, my computer broke. Uh, I need a new hard drive. And I don't have enough money to buy a new one yet. So I will eventually buy a new one and stream again. When Pitch, I have enough money. Pitch, pitch. Yes. That's the current situation. Because I also want to make music as well, so I need to fix my PC so I can do that as well. Yes. There's so Fun. many guys down here, George. They're just chilling. I <laughs> think they're not despawning, they're just trapped. <laughs> Where? There's like zombies like holding eggs and wearing hats and stuff. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's getting really dark down here. I know nothing. I just play. I just play the block. Uh, I I know. Great, actually. I've been uh, S H clean for over a month now. What's S H? Can you guess? No idea. Uh, really proud of that. And I mean, I found a stream again. So again, so even better, right? I liked your latest vid. Is it, you think you found a stream again? Yeah, you found this stream? I'm waiting for more context. And you're happy. And you liked my latest vid, so that was Good the one. Of course. Happiness is the mission. Right, I just stole some, so much junk. What's that stage? Super hardcore. Yeah, I keep missing. Well, you've, you've, you've made it, Foxy, and there's, there's probably gonna be more in the yeah. future, it seems like. Don't worry, you made it. Congratulations. Yeah, there'll probably be a lot more streams, but like, there isn't gonna be schedules, I think. That's what I think is how it's gonna work out. No schedules. <laughs> yeah, schedules are really hard. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> They will be doing it. <laughs> right, time to do the bit which I love, which is mine all the melons. And see how much we get. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, I used the wrong tool. I used my silk touch one. There you, you touch the melons with the wrong tool. Yeah, it's more efficient this way. Yeah, well, to be fair, like we do, sh you well, you stream literally at like eight at night to like eleven at night. That's a lot of Oh, it's self harm. Self -harm. Oh. That's don't don't do that. That's bad. Don't do that. It's interesting because like self harm as a word defines itself as something that's harmful. Yeah, we don't want no such. Uh, I baked. I cookies. baked cookies. What type of cookies? They eat double chocolate chip. We don't give a shit. I've been, I've, been cook I've been making a lot of Napoleon deep fried pizzas recently. Which you've been posting on the Discord. Yes, they look delicious. Because they are delicious. Yes, they do. Oh, the next batch we great. It's got the chili sauce. Gonna get. Uh, I got I got uh, tomato pulp from Italy. And yes, it is imported from Italy. Thank you. There's a shop that sells imported <laughs> Italian goods. That's how bougie you are now. After you went to Italy, you gotta import everything from Italy. That's what This food's trash. I gotta get it straight from this source. <laughs> yeah, this pizza's trash. I want, I want Italian. <laughs> Real Italian. You're one of them guys. They say, this ain't authentic Italian. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the pizza is. You're was becoming like an Italian. It's shock. Yeah. It's that a double, double chocolate chip is. Cookies are great. I love me. There was a period where I was also obsessed with making cookies because I remember I could do it in twenty, like twenty minutes to, to half an hour, and I knew the rest of my heart. The chip is the correct answer. I memorized it. 
I cooked just... food today. For once. I put floating light sources around here. I cooked a uh, chicken that was already cooked, and I just put it in a fryer and I fried it, and then I ate it in a sandwich. Damn, dude. That's that's pr that's, that's pretty big for me, man. Red velvet cookies. How do you make red velvet cookies? What? I think red velvet cookies. Because red velvet cake is like, the sponge is red, you got like the creamy top. I have no idea. Okay, so if I've got two stacks and 42 melons, they're already growing back, they're growing back, they're growing back. We, we, we won't mind them yet. We'll go to the next layer. And then there's just me at the bottom, just sleep labor, just placing more blocks. It's for the greater good. Oh, let's slave labor at the bottom. Oh, there's so many menas on this layer. Yeah, but how do you get? Yeah, how do you make? What is a red velvet? I know red velvet cakes and cupcakes, but red yeah, velvet cookies. Wow, but you buy the box from the store, you add water and pop in the oven, bam. No, this is not the authentic way. No, no, no. no. <laughs> See, when I've been making these pizzas, I, I, I get the flour, I get the dough, it's I so get Italian. the yeast, I, 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 so it's in the fridge for two days, I take it out of the fridge, uh, I leave it out for, for another three hours, uh, and then it's ready to be in, in these little balls, then I deep fry it, but also gotta get the tomato pulp, and you, you leave it just on a low temperature for half an hour whilst you stir it, and you add oil to it, and yep. uh, a garlic, a clove of garlic, and salt. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then once the three hours have passed for the... Oh, I need to fix this bit. Hang on. It's just like, you lost me like ages ago. And when the three hours pass for the, the dome, that's when you can deep fry it, which takes seconds. Make sure there's a whole, like a, it's like a little like dip in it, so you can, when it's, so it sits, the tomato sauce dips. And then you got, then you got sauces done, the, the dough's done, get the dough, put the sauce on dough, and then you just chop the, the burrata or mozzarella onto the um, pizza, and it's bellissimo. Mr. Italian over here. I, I went to Italy once and now, I, now Actually, I'm a chef. I went to Italy three times, <laughs> technically. <laughs> I'm really joking. It's great that you're actually like cooking everything properly and stuff. It's a really, it's like a really good skill. Yeah. I feel I like just... nauseous props from cookies. You gotta. Eat. Yeah. Yeah. How many? I, do think, you eat? I think it's important to me now. Like all I care about is like just making sure I'm not being unactive and pursuing my goals. Got it. Set goals, meet goals, and if you don't meet the goals, don't put yourself down. Just reassess why you didn't meet the goal and make a new goal. Yeah. That's the mods. Just two. There must be. I was gonna say like, if I have cookies, right? I probably only eat one cookie. Ah, oh, two's really like minimal. Nah, I eat one because if I eat more than one, I feel sick. So. Like a proper cookie, like a big cookie. You know, like the ones you get from uh, Sainsbury's, Child Sainsbury's, but like yeah. those big cookies. Yeah, I can only eat like one of those, and then after I eat one, I feel kind of ill. So I'm like, no. especially because I double chocolate chip as well. So double chocolate chips, I I would, I would recommend only eating one, unless they're the little tiny Maryland ones, and you can get away with two. That's that's my opinion. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a brand new layer. It's already yielding melons. Yeah, you're mining melons. I'm making more places to put melons. It's it's this stupid. It's this stupid. What what is this? What what? Why am I doing this? Yeah, fresh freshly baked cookies are one of the bit, like most delightful things to eat in the world. Like straight up, they're softened for like half an hour, and you just eat it. It's like oh, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, don't don't make cookies with cookie mix. You can just make the mix. It's like super easy. It's just butter, flour, um, sugar. I think like a bit of self no self raising flour, isn't it? It's so sugar. easy. It's so easy and lots of sugar, lots of brown sugar. Make brown sugar cookies. Brown sugar is better. Well, she said today's the like today was the trial run and tomorrow is the real run. So. I guess it's yeah. all about. I recommend. All about the I made um with Adri. We made brown sugar brownies. They're delicious. The other week. Brown sugar. Yeah, because it's, it's it's more. 
It's better. It's better. <laughs> it's just better. I feel that. But I don't want to do that. I can just buy the cookie mix. Like when it no, comes no. to cookie mix. This is not the way. Yeah, do you want to hoe this layer or can I, or can I do it? You can do it. I know you like doing it. <laughs> I love playing with those snatchers. <laughs> I know, I know, I know it's satisfying. You feel like a, like a printer, like you've said before. Oh, yeah. I'm just, print, I'm it's just a classic. printing land. It's the classic. Day one stream. Oh, I call it printing on the farm. <laughs> I'm printing out the farm land. Apologies if I get in the way. I need to find more coal. It's the noise as well. It's like slapping wet dirt over and over again. But yeah, cooking is an art, and you, we must respect the art. Honestly, I think I see I see cooking as literally like chemistry, but chemistry with food. Yeah, it's chemistry is an art. Yes, sir. It's like when I cook, I just like do everything like. You know, I time it, get it to exact temperatures, put it in the same place. Because then, like, yeah. if I ever cook it again, if I follow the exact same methodology, methodology, it'll be exactly the same. Yeah, so I tell Adri when she's cooking, uh, who's mini own, that she rushes sometimes and it ruins the food because it's just rushed. It's like, didn't didn't think for it, didn't, it's like, slightly too long, slightly too less, it just wasn't methodical. Mm. Well, there's like, I would say there's a balance between. When you have loads of experience and you know what the food looks That's like, you can't just like eyeball it. That's so different. with someone like me who can't cook and doesn't like cooking or anything like that, I like I just literally just do it like a like I'm doing a science experiment. It's like oh yeah, so make sure you get the timer out, time that, put it here. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's still just good. It's because I'm just because if I don't do that, it's just gonna be awful. Throwing up. Yeah. I've been so regrets I throw up. Drink some water. Or like, uh, yeah, I'll say drink some water. Her job is what is this her job here? Like, what's good for? I think mean, it will milk help. Like cookies and milk, that's a thing. No, right? just drink water. Don't don't don't, don't, don't put milk. I don't know. That, that's what people do, right? That's what they do when they eat with the cookies. But like, if you're like ill, you're feeling ill, just have water. Yeah. Just have the one. They're too deadly. Milk. I know. I just know, like, from when you drink alcohol, like when you drink loads of alcohol, you're supposed to drink milk because it lines your stomach okay. again. From the, from I the thought melon, that might apply to cookies as well. From the melon yield I just did right now, I got almost one, two, three, eight stacks. I got, I got seven stacks of melon blocks. But I, didn't, I haven't counted the the melon farm here. That's like that's another stack and a half. So like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just goes downstairs at twelve o'clock. What are you doing? I gotta get some milk. <laughs> Dude, I gotta get milk. <laughs> you don't understand. I need milk. <laughs> Wait, have you? Oh yeah, this is not gonna be uh, fertile. I need to mine. Ah, uh, I don't want to mine. <laughs> Ah, to be fair, this is way more pleasurable than mining the obsidian. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, this feels like cutting through like Swiss cheese. Oh, Swiss cheese. I don't know why I wanted that, but you know what I mean. Cutting through something real easy. Soft cheese. Like the obsidian with that. <laughs> yeah, cheese. I don't know why I went with cheese. Get the water. Got the Soon water. Soon I'm making my own cheese. It's probably pretty easy. Mission complete. You're gonna make your own cheese? Yeah, you Why isn't it just like fermented milk? Yeah, it's literally just fermented Moldy milk. milk. It's night time. Um, maple seeds. You just take milk and then just let it go shit, and then you keep letting it go shit until it tastes good. <laughs> exactly. That's cheese, right? <laughs> Well, that gold? Sound good. Or like gold. Yeah, it's like it's like when you drink loads of water, like, and then you go, oh, 
and you nearly feel the water inside you, and you're like, oh no. Nice. This did not help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before, I didn't feel, now I feel. Now I, this, yeah, because it's like packed with food and then you just fill it up with water, so the rest of it just fills up, and you're like, this was not a good idea. You just feel it, like swishing about, <laughs> and then it just does not help. Yeah, do you want me to keep this zombie with a, with an egg, or should I kill him? I ain't gone. He's getting trot speed, killing them with a pickaxe. There's no, no law. Shout out to anyone that gets that, that anymore. It's a trot. Trotsky. So like I'm not going to explain it. Just move over. Just move over. Okay. I think half films, but I don't know. No. Okay. Can you like uh fix the waters? You can fix the waters. I'm no, down here. I want to place dirt. I must mine. Brad Brad is actually place playing. dirt. I need to make more melon from. <laughs> Oh, you're, Debbie, you're consumed by the melon. It's <laughs> all I know. The melon <laughs> disease has got me. The it's, it's like it's like a like a, a hive mind virus where like it makes like the giant melon is like the hive mind and it just turns <laughs> everyone into slaves that make more melons. Broski, I have this big cup right with this lid and straw, and it was my favorite. And I came back from two weeks of vacation, opened the cup to put. A drink in it mold all over. Disgusting. How did that happen? Didn't clean it. Yeah. I, like there I, was probably you, I took the mug and I took a big swig <laughs> into the Yeah, and I went, I ain't no pussy, and I drank the milk. I mean I drank the mold water. I drank and them I drank the mold. I got superpowers. And now I shoot mold out of my hands. And I'm mold girl. Man, if only I could get more melons. Apparently there was a way. Yeah, there was a way. Yeah, well, if yeah, because it was you went on vacation. I'm assuming right that you left it somewhere where there was sunlight. So all there has to be is a tiny bit of moisture in there and enough heat for it to grow mold. Because like, especially what were you drinking? Like if it was water. It's probably quite hard to get mold in there, but if it was like anything sugary or anything like juice or anything, any form of something, anything that could have something that could give bacteria or mm. give the mold something to feed. You, because I think literally all they need is just a bit of moisture. Just like mosquitoes, all they need. Yeah, is but it's like moisture. if you cleaned it and there's like a little bit of water at the bottom, that that's enough. If it has the if it has enough heat and mm -hmm. stuff. It's like condi I don't know, it's conditioned. What do they need? Like, warm. It was pretty hot, yeah, I'll be the heat. It allowed it to grow in there. Made some spores in the air, and like you. Yeah, because they just need food. Like, I don't actually, what does mold need? I'm thinking of animals. Oh, this layer's complete, it's gonna yield many melons. Gene, you, you're missing part of the process. Like, you've you got, you haven't done the five. I don't care. Yet. Do you want to do, like, some, do, you want to do terraforming with melons? Do you want to do some terraforming? I need more layers. Let's stay down here. Please. Okay. I'll give you some light. I drank some iced tea the last time. Iced tea. Yeah, that might have some. That might have like some sugar in it, right? Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like that's it. That's, that's the food store. Yeah. Because it literally, like, even if you cleaned it, like, just having the vapor is enough. Like, the mold lives up. Like, I just come upstairs and just, there's just more melons to farm. Oh my god. What a, what a beautiful sight. I can never finish farming this farm. That was the goal, right? Yeah, I wanted to be ridiculous. Like, it's already getting pretty ridiculous, but I wanted to be, like, ridiculous. Like, my ambition was to make a farm go straight to bedrock. <laughs> you read that. I um also I bought the cup in some weird Chinese shop for three euro or some so no difference, <laughs> dude. That see that's the thing I learned whilst going to Europe is like there is this thing as like just weird off-brand Chinese shops that just sell like weird cheap off-brand things. Yeah, they don't. We don't have them here because like the Indians took over that like niche, so. Yeah, true. Indian corner. Yeah, they're way better at it, so 
They're on my head of the curb here. Yeah, because they actually sell good shit. Oh, yeah. It's different. Like, shout out to every corner shop owner out there. Do it, you're yeah, a real one. They're pretty sound. Like, I've never met a corner shop that wasn't like just sound. Whenever I like get off the train and like I go into a town and there's just a, like and I see all the shops, if there's like a corner shop there, I'll go in and see if it's dank. Because some of the shit I bought in corner shops is so nice. I, like, especially if it's like a proper Indian one and they have like samosas and shit. And I'm like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> I just buy samosas. And they're always so cheap as well. But my advice, always buy the veggie one, because, you know, if you don't trust them cooking the meat, then just buy the veggie one and it doesn't matter. You remind me that um, in this Italian store, they also do their own pizzas. And I'm like, bruh. They all sold out when we got there when it was like midday. So they must be like, maybe they're the best pizzas in Bristol. I don't know. How can a cup be cute? Make Hamble Cup merch. There is a cup on a merch shop that I did make, but it just literally is a cup that says Amble Cup, <laughs> like in text. I don't, that's, 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 that's like the worst merch. But it's so bad that it's good. <laughs> I, I, it literally just is a cup that says Amble Cup on it. Amble Cup. <laughs> yeah. uh. <laughs> oh dear. So, there is something that exists. Whether or not it's good is up for debate. What do I do with this llama? Because I'm just going to dig the ground. I'm just going to bury him. Yeah, just keep digging for the devil I've been doing. <laughs> just keeps getting down. He's just Eventually, this llama is going to ride up, sail a boat to the bottom of the Where? Lake. It's on my Streamlab store. I think if you type in the exclamation mark store, it'll come up. <laughs> Wait, you have a merch store? I didn't know this. I did it ages ago. There's also a shirt that says Amble shirt on it, and it's like a... <laughs> <laughs> did anyone buy it? No. <laughs> he hasn't made singles. <laughs> it's just there. Uh, a crepe. So cool. We know what crepes are. Yeah. Crepes are dying. Isn't that a Spanish thing? No, it's a French thing? I don't know. I thought they were Greek, but honestly, <laughs> I have absolutely no clue. I can't remember if it's Spanish or, or... I think they're French. <laughs> yeah, they French. I just know that they're not from the UK. <laughs> Man, that sounds so bad. Savage. Oh, the store. Yeah, okay, let me, let me get you the store link. Yeah, okay. tell me, enlighten. I need more crep knowledge in my life. I'm getting the store link. Tell me more about the crepes. I'm getting the store link. That's what I'm doing. I'll just link it to you. <laughs> Click on it. Well, Nutella banana ice cream whipped cream. Damn. That's diabetes, you know, wrapped in like a tortilla that's been fried. <laughs> That sounds like a sundae with banana and ice cream. Yeah, but it's in a crepe, so it's like like a this car. I just think of crepes as like pancakes, but that's probably offensive to someone. Right, where is my store? <sighs> uh, app store, no. Logo maker, merch store. Where's exclamation mark merch? What? I made much. <laughs> they took it away because you you're not making them any money. <laughs> I had much. I remember I remember there was much. <laughs> I had much. <laughs> yeah, and then no one bought it, so they were moved to a lot I remember making much. Well there you go, that's the answer. It doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> they did. But I made they it. it. I remember making it. <laughs> Did you get any of these products? Like, did any of them exist? <laughs> no, I just made, I made it and then no one bought it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe there wasn't even, like, one in existence, because it'd be, like, the rarest merch, like... <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> I keep I getting I close to sp spitting out the water I have in my mouth. Be less funny, be less entertaining. Damn it! <laughs> um, we must, we must, we must consult the board, and we must ask them, how can we be less entertaining? 
<laughs> There's just a we bunch of like philosophy fat again. <laughs> yeah, we start talking about philosophy again. That's what everyone. Do you remember about ontology and epistemology? Yeah. You ever heard of this word called ontology? It means this onto, sounds like, very, sounds like on, you're trying to introduce people to a cult. Cult, yeah. Onto means to living, being, yeah. And then ology is a science, it's a science of life, or being, I mean. Just studying, I don't know. Are you sure you want me doing terraforming? It's a fun part of the uh, the process. I've got loads of melons. Nah, you're the content, you're the one filming. They, they want to see that, they don't want to see me placing rows and rows of dirt. No, that's just, it's all part of the process. Set it for free so I can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to change the screen, oops. Yes, gaming. <laughs> You're a professional. Ah, <laughs> yes, I'm a professional. <laughs> you work for Toy Cat. You're a professional. Very professional. Okay, my stream is more professional than Toy Cat. I don't know why I'm just saying like that's it's like true. I've seen, I've seen a state. I I know if I were to go to his house, I just I just fix it. <laughs> it wouldn't take me long. I'll just fix it. Yeah, it's, atro it's atrocious. Screen screen work is atrocious. Amble, I need Amble Cup that says <laughs> Amble Cup in my life. <laughs> I think it, I mean, I think I had an Amble Pog on it too. I think there's one with an Amble Pog. Nah, I just want the bottom text. Amble Cup. <laughs> cup. <laughs> uh, I could make it, you know. It wouldn't, it wouldn't take me too long. All we need. We just, that's all we need in our lives. Is the Amble Cup. It's like the best product. I remember I sold it for like I made like no money from. Basically, I think I made like ten, like a ten pence profit from it. <laughs> so basically, Does that mean yeah. someone bought one? No, but when you make this merch on through uh, the Streamlabs store, you can set how much you want to sell it for. And I always sold it to like as almost as cheap as I possibly could, so people could buy it. So I didn't really, I didn't really care about the the profits too much. I made like pennies. Penny. I just basically made pennies. You made, how did you make a penny? I don't understand how you make money without No, I didn't make any money, but if someone bought it, that's how much I would have made. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> you made a penny for a piece of paper. <laughs> At least you're honest, like, you weren't trying to rip people off. You're like, this is as cheap as it can be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have to pay for shipping. You didn't on. advertise it ever. I watch most of your streams that you never I did. I remember I advertised it. I vividly remember advertising it. And Benji looked at it and said, This is terrible. I hate it. And I was like, Okay. Because <laughs> it, it was terrible. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to advertise this ever again. <laughs> if that was the first reaction, it was, I hate it. But now you're saying oh. you love it and it's gone. Like, jeez. You have jeez. to pay for your own free product. Pay for shit. Why didn't you buy one? You should have bought one, man. Just for the moon. Just for the moon. I already have a mug. I love it. No, I, my current thing I drink of is just, just one bottle of for weeks. I've been carrying it around everywhere. It's very useful. Well, I got a branded one for where I work. It's jokes. What? A, a castle? Yeah, just castle. That's why we're not dogs. <laughs> I live in Bristol. <laughs> I live in Bristol. Uh. <laughs> Yes. I actually live in um, Swindon. the Himalayas in Nepal. It's pretty lit. I can't believe the Wi Fi is so good. <laughs> Modern technology. Yeah. Please bring it back. Make one and send it to me. I will make <laughs> it. Yeah, we just want it through the super rare. Yeah, we need to make the Amble Cup and just sell a couple. The limited just edition. To the, just to the day Amble. ones, and then like three years' time, we'll be like, look at this cup. This is official merch. Limited edition Amble Mug. That just says, <laughs> just says Amble Mug. I should say Amble Cup. <laughs> Oh yeah, Amble Cup. It's not special. It's maybe, this so be, maybe this could be a new emote. It's just Amble mug, cu Cup. And it's just a cup. And then like, it's just associated <laughs> yeah. with the match. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so I got my Amble Cup. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go. Cool. <laughs> really, really elevates the taste of the water. <laughs> Without my ample cup, I wouldn't be alive right now. It saved my life. Yeah, if you don't have if you don't have anything to drink out of, ample cup will do that so you don't die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you blow up our flex? Yeah, you just need to you need to get that rare merch after the day one. Sell it for like nothing. Get one p on it just for the three years where potentially you're big, and then we go, yeah, look at this merch. Yeah, sell it. Make, 
Well, I've recently hit 200 <laughs> subs on YouTube, so maybe I can make a- I can drop. I'll do a merch drop. And then, like, limited- do, do like, the whole, like, it's limited edition merch drop. And you just take the first merch. <laughs> yeah, and see on, <laughs> see just do it. a merch drop, and the only merch is the cup. <laughs> I need to buy to make it buy buy it so I can record it and advertise it and then I'll make and then I'll make the announcement video and I'll say it's only for like one one month and it's gone forever yeah literally like a limited time I'll never make it ever oh. again yeah, this so <laughs> people die because I've yeah I've got more dirt. Uh, yeah yeah run out. <laughs> I think it's more outside, I just couldn't pick any more. I've been too efficient at making more than farm. I need to be faster. Oh, there's loads of bats in there. That's cool. I'm a kill. I'm sorry, Foxy, I need to up my game. Yeah, are you in a real content career if you're not selling your soul and just shamelessly <sighs> plug always? Well, there's a new video coming out soon. That's how you get more. <laughs> <laughs> announcement video, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that is actually really good. That is actually really good. Because it's like, I'm sorry that the, your voice like, oh, what are you sorry for? And it's like, because the merch is so shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, the merch, the merch was gone. <laughs> Maybe I could sell merch. It would be worth it. I've nearly finished the, another layer. Wow. Well, we need more dirt. You can help me terraform. Because <laughs> that's how we get more dirt here. I want to know terraform. Man. It's fun. You get some melons. You just you, know, you replace it. It's it's, it's just as addictive no. and it's, and fun. No, I just I just grow more. That's Fair. all I need. <laughs> Well, if you want to, you know, farm some melons, you're welcome to as well. I don't oh, know what you're for. Um, oh, yeah, I need to get up soon. <laughs> oh, look at the time. I'm like, oh, look, it's still time to... I need to get up to go to bed. I've got so I many melons to get through. I've never had so many melons. The automatic farm is so inefficient compared to just a regular farm. Yeah, definitely. But at least it gives you free melons. Yeah, it gets passive income. Yeah, I think it's like if you were gonna AFK. It'd well, be it gives rude. me the seeds to plant the rest of the melon farm. That's what I've been using it for. Just seeds. So the machine, what is what made all the, like. Yeah. Manual plants. Yeah. yeah. You didn't really answer that. How long are you streaming for? <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm getting off. I'm not, when I say soon, I mean soon, but I don't want to say definitive time. We're wrapping it up. It's getting the. Yeah, it's getting it then. I mean, I need to go to bed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Foxy, there's a new video coming out soon I'm working on, and you'll enjoy it. It's, it's another, like, amble outside in the field, doing whatever, doing whatever I do. Doing whatever I do to people and just say things. Yo, I saw that TikTok today where you, like, I don't think it was in the YouTube video you did, but it was like you interviewing that guy about the awkward silence and then he got you. And I was like, that was actually really good. I'm glad. No, it wasn't the video. Was it? Yeah. The main one extended version. I, I, honestly, I. Yeah, I don't remember it being. Ed I, I think it was a different edit. Like, it was a longer version. Or something. Yeah, I think I altered the edit slightly. Yeah, because I was like, that was, it was actually really funny. <laughs> I know, I remember, I remember doing it. It was very funny. It was just like, ah, you got me. <laughs> I was just like, just it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people were, people were great. Maybe that's just such a great concept. You just, you just interview people and just like... Yeah, honestly, you like, you need to start... We just need to start farming the shit out. Just going random places and just talking to them. Well, I, I've done that recently. So yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You need to well, just I, do no, The next two videos is me going to places and have interviewed people and just document whatever. The next one is busting on the bus, and the one after that is going to be uh, Extinction Rebellion. Mm. That'll be interesting. On your screen, when you look at this water, is there a pixel of water missing? Yeah. 
Look at this mountain farm. <laughs> Just ignore it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This yeah, one hasn't good. grown up yet. That's alright. Oh no, there's one melon here. There's one melon over there. That's good. He's walking up. Oh, this layer. And this one's this going to... This, this, one, this one's pretty operational. This is all very operational. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've run out of dirt and I don't want to get more dirt, so... You want some melons? Do you want some melons for payments? Uh... Want a stack? Uh, <laughs> you want to look out? You want to look out? Look out and just view the the beautiful the beauty. I right? think you can keep them. I think you need the melons more than I do, so you can keep that. It's a bit of a parkour situation to leave here. That's <laughs> gonna do a bet on you. You got a child. It's growing. What? You got a. I hope it doesn't die. You got a bet. What? No. What is going on? What do you mean? I'm in bed. What kind of child? Is it like a plant? It's a food baby. Damn, I've not had one of those in a while. Where does uh like is there another I don't have a bed? There's beds in the melon. Oh, okay. There's one floating one, and I think there's one on the I oh, for goodness sake. I hope it doesn't die. That's like, that's like, what? Well, we all die eventually. <laughs> Need answers. No! You better get the bigger. I found the flint in bed. Apparently, there's monsters nearby. There you go. I'm drinking its only food. Oh. Okay, now we can see the um, the beauty of this melon, the majesty. Uh, I, I had a food baby because I I've eaten like so many burgers recently. It's not good. That is not good. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is not good. Look at this area. <laughs> That's a lot of melon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got a flag. I claim this. That's melon. <laughs> that's melon on the river, <laughs> or whatever I, it's gonna be called. Why does that look so weird? Does that look really weird on your screen too? Like yeah, because it like goes through banners, the water. Banners go through all water and glass. That and looks so fish. stupid. What do you got there? Indeed it is. Um, let's tree raid. Let's raid. Yeah, let's something. go for it. Who can we find? Let's find some wow. raid. Oh, indeed, mini raid. Indeed. I'm gonna go uh, stand on the melon hill. It's just <laughs> um. We have. Yeah, you probably got more about that. Quick story. Um, like my uh, parents went away for uh, the holiday and then I had to look after the house and then because that was the week where it was like 40 degrees um like the plants literally I watered them nearly every day but because it was so hot they literally just destroyed the plants and then I, I felt really bad oh they couldn't survive the heat yeah yeah like the heat literally just disintegrated some of them like destroyed them <laughs> you should well hello that. Link you, you should have not put it in the sun well I didn't care like <laughs> you better care I just watered them. That's like, like your good. one job. Hey, like most of them lived, like they were fine. Just a couple of them just basically got set on fire. Give them more cat picks. That's the currency around here. <laughs> no, okay. but I can go get more cat picks. <laughs> okay, stream, 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 stream. UK. I need them to survive. I like this guy. Is, is the stream title is just called. Oh, did he stop streaming? No, he's live. Yeah, like I'll tell you a quick story about Otis while and um, we'll find something. So basically, the other day, like me and my sister and her friend were leaving, and the cat and he followed us like down the road, and so we had to like chase him. And he was playing this game where he'd lie on the ground, and as soon as you got up to him, he'd run away, and he just kept doing it. And we were just running around trying to catch this goddamn cat, and eventually we like caught it, and I had to put it in the house, lock it in the house, and then leave so it didn't follow us down the Aww. road. 
It was so cute, but so annoying at the same time. Yeah, rip, rip plants. plants. They got disintegrated yeah. by the 40 degrees sun. <laughs> and so did I. I got heat stroke. <laughs> that was really bad. Oh, I was having heat stroke for a bit. Headaches. Well, it was my fault. Like It was like the middle of the day, and I was like, oh man, I really want a cold drink. So I walked down the road in the middle <laughs> of the day in 40 degree heat to get a drink. Great and then when idea. I got back, I had heat stroke. Great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, good. We raiding. <sighs> peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. Um, Hi, stop, stop sending me mail. I have too much mail. Peace and love, peace and love. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> too much mail. <laughs>